Rebeshanda, Rebanda, Jamande, Jeketo, Rebebe, Jete, Yadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadad
the, 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 the lady called him in the office and said, hold on, uh, why are y'all bringing all this money? Why are y'all, they was caring about 500 down on the $1,000? And the lady said to them, why are y'all bringing all of this money? She said, all y'all owe us is $96. <laughs> 90, now, this, now, 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 hear me now. When they left the day before, and the, this, they said, you are, oh, you are, your balance is over $1,000. They came to the prayer, we pray, and then they went back the next day, and by the next day, the people say, you all only owe us $96. Give me $96, and you can carry your car. Ooh. Hallelujah. So I just want you to know it is done. It is done. It is done. Hallelujah. All things are possible. All things are possible through faith and through prayer. All things are possible, brothers. Oh my Hallelujah. God, apostles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. It Amen. is done. Amen. Hallelujah. That is super wonderful. I, I don't want to cut you, brothers. My sound mind, if you can fix my air, I can't hear nothing in the air. Wow. Hallelujah. You got to be able to hear something. Yeah, I, I got to hear myself. Oh my least. God. <laughs> Go ahead. Praise God. Amen. Is it better uh, now? I, all I hear is static. <laughs> oh, okay. You guys get Apostle straight. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Amen. It is done, Apostle. Yes, yes. And I, and I am so, uh, uh, you, you know, I, I heard about that testimony. Come on. And they, they, they were sharing it. And I said, this can only be the, the supernatural power of God. Of God. It, 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 you know, you went from thousands of, your car being, the car being repossessed. It, yeah. And told you have to find thousands of dollars. Yes. In 24 hours. Yes. And only to discover. By God. That the, now when they went into the people, uh -huh. they're being told, you know what? Just bring $96. Just bring that. People, if that's not a miracle from God. <laughs> Oh my God, that brother. is not a that miracle. Is, that is a miracle. And I told the man, you all better come with your testimony. Amen. Because that's a testimony. But it's, it goes to show the power of prayer, people of God. Yes. This is the power of prayer. It is done. You got to have faith that when you pray, when you pray. Yes. And that's, if you if you go to Mark, to Mark uh, 11, that's what it's talking about. Yes. You get in at verse number 20, and, and you, if you read those other two verses behind there, yes. hallelujah, that's what it's all talking about. You know, you got to believe when you pray that it is done. And if you yes. believe it is done, it is done already. Hallelujah. It is done. It is done already. Hallelujah. And, and so we have to understand the power that we have in prayer, in prayer and in faith. Hallelujah. Yes. The power that we have. Now tonight we're dealing with prayer and so we may emphasize a little bit more on prayer. Yes. Hallelujah. But prayer, there's power in, there's power in prayer. Yes. Prayer changes everything. Jesus. Prayer changes everything. Ooh. Hallelujah. And we got, we got to know that and we got to use this powerful weapon that God has given to us. Yes. Prayer. Yes. We don't use it enough. We, I don't know why Christians are, are so afraid of this of, of this weapon <laughs> that God has given us prayer. My God. Not worry. He said he never told you to worry. Don't worry about the situation. Stop fretting. Don't be fearful over the situation. Yes. But take it to God in prayer. Yes. Hallelujah. The, one sound say, oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything, everything to, God. to God in prayer. So My God. You are, and that's, that's what's so amazing about it, prophetess. Yes. You can take everything to God. Yes, everything. Everything you can take to God. And, and God will not discriminate. No. And you, God will and not. Listen, you, even <laughs> if you have a pinky, a pink, which that's your pinky, right? Pinky. Okay. I almost gone to my toe. But you got a pinky on your toe, too. So even if you have a pinky pain. Yes. God is concerned about that. He Hallelujah. Is. And you can go to God and pray about that. So whatever you have, whatever you're facing, you can take it to God in prayer. Yes. And there is no boundary in prayer. Mm -hmm. There is no limit, limit in, in prayer. prayer. Hallelujah. Go ahead. He go said ahead, he's brother. touched with the feeling of our, our infirmities. infirmities. Yes, yes, So yes. this is where people need to know tonight. Amen. That God is looking forward to you coming. Yes. He is looking forward. Yes. You know, he's like a good father. Yes. You know, and you know, as a father, apostle, you feel so good. Amen. Sometimes when your children come to you, yeah. when they were growing up and they were small and they come yeah. and they sit on your lap and they say, Daddy, yeah. you know. <laughs> Tell me, I'm still doing that. Now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit heavier, but they still. <laughs> yeah, they, you know, when they come in for something. Yeah. You know, but, you know, I just want to say tonight, Apostle, that, uh -huh. you know, God is, uh, prayer is. No, but I do say, brothers, when they come. When they come. When they come. And, you know, see, 
like with us as parents, the thing is, sometimes they will come. Yeah. And you know, the only the only thing you say, well, Lord, I hope they don't ask for something that I don't have. Yes. But now the thing is, when you go to God, you can't ask him for nothing that he don't have. Because he has everything. Because he's a, he, he's an unlimited Woo! God. He has the answer. He is the answer. He is the answer for all the world. He's the answer for whatever you are going through. Yes. He, Jesus is the answer. He is the so answer. So you can't ask him for nothing that he don't have. He, he can, will he can supply meet your every need. Every need. Hallelujah. Well, folks, amen. If you are just coming in tonight, we want to welcome you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. This is our Wednesday night prophetic prayer. Hallelujah. Uh, our, our service. Amen. The Lord has given this to us. And Apostle told you earlier, we yes. call it urgent prayer. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So this night is the night, this is the night, amen, of this is no joking. Amen. This is a night of serious business. This is a night where those of you that are passing through any level of trouble, any level of trial, any level of tribulation, praise God, any level of test, we are proven, we are proof positive yes. that when we pray on this altar, on. praise God, amen, God answers. I can never say that there's a time that we have come to this altar and the, and, and the Spirit of God did not appear and, and brought the answer. Praise God. He said, Amen. Hallelujah. If anyone come touching and agree, if any two come touching and agree, and as you know, yes. it is Apostle and I, yes, but yes, we have yes, a yes. room full of intercessors. Amen. Not Amen. to mention we have a whole prayer army of thousands. Hallelujah. So Amen. we are here, and then there is what is called an innumerable. The Bible says we have come to Mount Zion yes, in yes. the midst of an innumerable company yes, of hallelujah. angels. Praise God. Yes. So we we know for a fact, without a doubt. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Tonight, something is going to happen for you. Hallelujah. And did you hear me? I said, something. You know, something is going to happen. That's why we can sit here and boldly say, Yes. It. Is it is done. done. It's done. It's done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done, it's brother. Done. It's done. So, Apostle, before you and I take off again, uh -huh. I want these people that are watching us, I need them to send that, that link out, like you said earlier. Yes. Praise God. And send it everywhere because tonight somebody's going to get an answer. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Somebody's going to be delivered. Yes. Somebody's going to be set free. Yes. Praise God. Your story is not about to change. Hallelujah. We are prophesying. Your story is changing yes. already. Yes, right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now, your story is your changing. Your story is changing. Hallelujah. So it's, it's a, it is a it is a mission tonight. Yes. And it's to get people to understand it My is done. God, yes, And, and I want to just, I don't know if I should read the scripture now, if I should read this later. Providence. Let's go. Let's flow. Let's flow. Let's flow. Let's flow. But I just need people to understand. We're going to be praying. We have some prayer requests. Oh, yeah. We have tons of praise reports. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Where so many people have been receiving miracles. My God. My God. And instant miracles is the key word that I want. I want you to remember tonight My God. that they've been receiving instant, like yes. bam, just yes. like that. Hallelujah. Because we're in a very spiritual time. Woo. We're in a very prophetic time. We're in a very profound My time. My God. And God is answering swiftly. Yes. yes. Quickly. Quickly. Behold, I come quickly. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and my reward is with me. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's so, quick answers. Yes. And quick. it's happening now. Right now. So I want to read the scripture, Apostle. And like Go I ahead, said, I, I, you know, we take the, ta the chance in reading. But I want people to put in the chat tonight. Go ahead. This is Wednesday night. We have thousands of, of yes. members, yes. partners. Amen. So I, we want to see this, praise God. We want to see uh, this platform lighting light up, up. Light up, light up, light up. We want to see this platform fire, fire, lighting fire. up. So everybody do the work of an evangelist. God has given Apostle and I a word. God has given us praise God our specific word yes. praise God tonight for at least 700 people Woo! praise God for at least 700 oh my you. God I, I gotta be more than that brother this we don't we don't I pass. know but it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be more like, than that but like, I'm like, just saying like a couple of thousand people right, okay go to 7,000 <laughs> 7, ah shut up that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's the one you're talking about. 7,000. Yes. You know, you know, we want to say happy birthday to you, Bernadette. Bernadette says it's her birthday today. Really? So we just want to shout that out on YouTube. Give her a shout out tonight. Happy birthday. Happy Enjoy birthday. your day. Hallelujah. I don't know. Hopefully you'll be in Georgia and we can give you a birthday 
a birthday seed, uh -huh. or, or we can connect with you and give you a birthday seed. Mm -hmm. And we want to welcome you and come on uh, to she, I think that is, to she, uh, Asli. Come on, we welcome you and come on, you all send this out, send this out. Let's go. This is this is this is global night of prayer. Amen. Let's get everybody in. Let's get anybody everybody on board. Prophet is about to go into the scripture, but I want every, I want some more people to hear this. Hallelujah. Get them in. Get them in. Get them in. Hallelujah. Listen, you know, you know, when you're desperate, when you when you are desperate for a move of God and you you know that God is working and working and moving through somebody. You know, even if you come on and you say, my God, they ain't start yet. You stay right there praying. You don't yes. move. You stay connected right there yeah. and say, I'm going to wait until I see that, that link pop up and say live. Amen. So you stay and you wait for what God, hallelujah, is about to do. Because God, God, this is about me. This is about you. God wants to bless you. God, like Prophet said earlier, this ain't, this ain't about something that is going to happen. It is done now. It is yes. done now. It's happening. It's happening for you now. And you got to believe this. You got to believe this. It is it, it's happening for you now. Yes, whatever it is. Now you say, what is it? It is whatever you've been praying about. Yes. Whatever you believe in God to do. Yes. That's what it is. And it is happening for you now because why? Prayer is what's going to make it happen. Sure. Persistent prayer. Yes, Victorious prayer is what's going to make it happen. That's what made it happen for the woman in Luke 18. And uh, 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 if you read from chapter from verse one and down, what made it happen was her persistency. Jesus. She never gave up. She keep going back to the judge yes. and said, I need you to avenge me. Yes. I need oh. you to set me free. On, I brother. need you to deliver me. I need you to cause the cause these people to give me my money. Jesus. Hallelujah. I need you to give me victory in this matter. And every time the judge told her no, she did not stop. She went back the next day or the next week and she said, I need you to change my story, change my name, change my situation. And eventually the judge said, ah, I can't take it no more. This woman's going to drive me crazy. And eventually he said, I will do it for you. You got the victory. You win the case. I overturn all of those times. I, I, I found you guilty. You're not guilty no more. You win the case. And he said, if the unjust judge know, I, I, I know how to do that for, uh, for, for in, in his place. Now, how much more will your heavenly father, he say your heavenly father, will, I tell you, he will avenge you speedily. speedily. Right now. Ooh, so God. it is done right now. And so you can't give up. You got to keep knocking, keep knocking, keep praying. That's yes. what we're knocking. Keep praying, keep praying that God will come true for you. Hallelujah. And believe and know that it is done right now in Jesus' name. My Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Now, that is good, Apostle. Amen. And I want people as they're coming in tonight to get this because it's so important. You know, sometimes we could be hearing, yeah. but we're not believing. Yes. And a lot of times, a lot of Christians find themselves in that position, yeah. depending on the severity of their problem. Yes, brother. Now, if some people got a serious, a magnanimous problem, uh -huh. you know what it's called, <laughs> humongous problem. My God. They be saying like, yeah, Apostle and Prophet, y'all could be saying that, but y'all don't know the size of uh, my mountain. Don't matter. But it doesn't matter what size matter. your problem is. It doesn't matter. God is the one. He said, I, if I said it, I will do it. He will do it. And that's what I wanted to release tonight, yeah. Apostle. Yeah. Because like you said, the judge was like, hold on. This woman, because of her persistence in, in, she keep and her continual coming, he said, let me just give her what she's asking for. Yes, yes. And I want to release this word to somebody tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God, wherever you are under the sound of our voice. Yes. Whatever you are going through. Yes. Whatever, praise God, amen, you are believing God for. Amen. Amen. Come on. We, we're making a prophetic declaration. Yes, brother. That's... And we are decreeing tonight. Yes. We're making a decree. Come on. Praise God. Amen. We decree. And see, a decree is sometimes different from just, just declaring. Yes. A decree is finality. A decree is legality. So when we say we decree something, Amen. we are saying it according to the word of God that it is done. It has already been sealed, signed, and delivered. Yes, brother. Oh my God. Come I wish somebody could just believe this. Come on, brother. Stay right there. Talk about it. 
Come on, you make that decree. You you, you decree it out of your mouth. So and that's he said, why. If you decree it, if you decree it, it shall so he will establish it. It shall, it be, shall established. be established. So I want I want people to just hear tonight. Yes. And I want them to hear by the Spirit of God. Amen. Because a lot of times, friends, God, the devil can have you running wild. Yes. And he yes. can have you hither and thither. Yes, brother. And he can have you so distracted and apostle. A lot of people are distracted. By reason of their storm. My God, my God. And, and that's what happened to Peter. The my Bible God, said God, that as soon as he began to look at the winds and the waves, yes, yes. Th- and he began to realize, wait a minute now. Yes, yes, yes. He did step out of the boat. My God. But when he stepped out, yes. he looked at the winds and the waves. Yes. And that's when he began to sink. Come on. Oh, the devil is a liar. Come on, brother. I prophesy you will not sink in this hour. No. Come on. Don't be distracted. Don't get distracted. Don't, don't even get distracted. No. Keep your eyes on keep Jesus your eye, Keep your eyes on the prize. As long as his eyes was on Jesus, he was walking he on walked. water. He, walk, he was walking. And, and he was walking on water. Yes. And so I need someone to know that tonight. Yes. Wherever you are, whatever you're going through, praise God. Yeah. God said this thing will not take you over. This thing will not kill you. This thing will not destroy you. Do not be distracted by uh, it. Hallelujah. So Satan has a tendency of bringing distractions. Yes. And so tonight as people are still coming in, amen. praise God, amen, hallelujah. God wants them, them to, to hear a word. Yes. Praise God. He said you will hear a voice from from behind me and the voice will tell you what to do the voice will tell you turn left yes. or turn right yes. or keep going the voice tonight yes. is speaking loud and clear My yes. God. and the voice is saying tonight it is done it is done it, it is, is done. done it is done it, it is, is done. done that's my thing Feedback. here uh speeding in my thing so it is done it is done it is done so it is done and so that means now somebody say well prophet is an apostle how could you all be saying it is done and i still i I, and it ain't fiction see this is where faith comes in come on the word of god said amen now faith is the substance of things you hope for faith is not just a word Faith is a word of action. Come on. Faith is a word of manner. Yes. Faith is a word of doing. Yes. So when you say you have faith, now you have to start acting like it's yes. done. Yes. Come on, brothers. Come on. Come on. I, I, I'm not speaking about no positive thinking and no positive speaking and no. you know, you know, optimism of the mind. Yes. I'm speaking of factual praise, God. When you ask God, when we pray tonight, as we will be praying for so many of these prayer requests, yes. and some of you that are on social media, Come praise on. God, amen. In fact, some of you need to begin from now. Drop your family name on this altar. Amen. Praise God, amen. Praise God. Drop your family name on this altar. Come on. And, and begin to declare tonight. Come on, brother. Praise God. It is done. It is, it is done. done for the mushroom family. It is, hey. it is done, praise God, for the bean family. My God. It is done. You come on, somebody. You have to begin to put it in there. Come on, brother. God, I know it is done. It is done in Jesus' name. It is done. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Come on. So say, God, say it until you believe it. <laughs> so he said, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, come on, yes. you will say to the mountain. Come on. You will, you will speak into that mountain. Speak into that mountain. And that mountain will have to obey you. Hallelujah. I want to read my scripture, Apostle, if Go I ahead, can. Prophet, Praise God. Ahead. Amen. I was trying to hold on for another minute, but I can't hold on another minute. <laughs> Praise come God. On. Come on. I, 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 I'm, I'm reading this tonight because I want people to understand yes. that God is ears is just open, listening. Yes. Just open, waiting for your prayer. Come on. Just waiting for your cry. Just Hallelujah. waiting to hear you say something. Yes. But my scripture tonight, Apostle, Come is on. coming from Numbers chapter 23. Come on. Praise Focus. God. Let's Wait, man. Verse 19 and that. 20. Yes. Numbers 20. <laughs> Numbers 23. Yes. 19 and 20. Numbers 23. Numbers 23, 19 and 20. 19 and 20. Come on. And this is what the word of God declares in the book of Numbers he says God is not a man Come on. that he should lie My God. y'all gonna see where I'm going right now Come on, brother. neither is he the son of man yes. that he should repent Come on. he said and he, if he said it yes. had he said it he shall do it Come on. is this true tonight yes. Yes. and he had he spoken yes. he sh- he and he shall not make it good and is asking a question god is not a man that he should lie no. if he said it he 
He's going to do it. If he said it, he's going to bring it to pass. Yes, yes. Am I talking to somebody tonight? Come on. And so what is he saying now? Now, now the, 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 the prophet is speaking here, this man, praise God, that is, I have received commandment to bless. Yes. And he had blessed. And I cannot reverse it. My God. So what was he saying? This man was sent to curse. Yes. He was trying to, another king was trying to pay him to put a curse on the children of Israel. Uh -huh. And the Bible said, amen, when he went to try to put a curse on them, yes. praise God, Balaam went to try to, he said, wait a minute, I cannot, what can I do? I have already received commandment Come on. to bless them. Come on. And because I receive a commandment to, to bless. bless them, yeah. I can't curse them. Yeah. I can't reverse it. You can't reverse it. Oh, Jesus, what is this tonight? Somebody, you need to hear the word of God. Come on. God has already given us the commandment. Yes. To bless you. Yes. God has already sent a word to bless you. Yes. There's already been angels have already been dispatched yes. to come to your house tonight Hallelujah. to bless you. Come on. And because God already declared a blessing over you. Come on, brother. It cannot be reversed. Can't be reversed. It cannot be reversed. Somebody say it is done. It is done. It is done. Come on. Type it in your chat. It is done. Oh God bless. No man can curse. If you have been blessed. Yeah. No one can curse you. No one can curse you. And so some of you tonight, you're still under that thing of I am cursed. I feel as if I am okay. Then let's get the curse off. Come on. And let's get the blessing rolling. It's off. Take it off. It's done tonight. It's off. It's if God be for you, That's it. who can be against, against you? Hallelujah. So, 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 so he has already given the command. Yes. He isn't going to give the command now. God has already given that command to yes. bless you. Yes. Hallelujah. And if God has already blessed you, the devil can't curse you no more. Jesus. Now, like, like the word said, the weapon will form. All right, but it can't prosper. That's it. He can't curse you because God already bless you. Yes. Tell the person on the side, you man, listen, send this out. You do. I'm too blessed to be stressed. I'm too blessed. Man. Hallelujah! Can't touch this. <laughs> can't touch this. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Yes. Can't touch this. Amen. Hallelujah! Because God already spoke a blessing over my the word to bless me. Yes. Hallelujah. Brother, let's go ahead. So go ahead. the blessings now, uh -huh. the word of God says it's supposed to make you rich. Yes. And it's not supposed to add any sorrow. No sorrow. The blessings of the Lord shall make you rich. Rich. And it cannot add any sorrow. Yes. So what is God saying tonight? I have sent a commandment to bless you. Now a commandment, God bless you. What he was trying to say, uh -huh. the man was saying, hold on now, you want me to go curse these people. Yeah. You want me to put a curse on them. Yeah. But I can't put a curse because but... God already put a bless. Yeah. Yeah. Apostle, I need Christians to get this in their spirit. Yeah. That if God has put a stamp on your forehead, my God, and the stamp says bless. bless. Big no. blessings right across your forehead. No yeah. devil from hell you can't, you can't can move it. that. You can't stop this. And put up. Listen, I want people to understand you this. Can't stop it. I don't care what you have been through in life. Come on. I don't even care what mistakes you have made. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Come on, are, are you, are you Come people on. understanding this? Come on, Come on. Come on. I don't care what thing you have fall down, you have gotten. You have, God said, listen, if I have blessed you, yeah. no man can curse you. No man. I, I have blessed you. Ah, yeah, yeah. No man can curse Woo! you. Woo! So the, the curse can come, Woo! but the curse cannot last. That's why from Genesis to Revelation, we keep seeing the scripture. Yeah. It came to pass. 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 The thing that was shot, the arrow that was shot at yeah. some of you. Praise God. Amen. This, this is why some of you went through things when you were young or when you were growing up. Some things you went through. But look at God today. The thing was when to kill you, it all it did was push you closer Ooh. to God. Ooh. 
the thing that was supposed to kill you. Yes, yes. It was supposed to send you out your mind. Yes. Am I talking to somebody? You're talking, I, I'm prophesying to somebody right now. Come on. There were people that walked out on you. There are some of you, praise God, right now, that people rejected you. Yep. And they thought that they was ahead of you. Yep. And they thought they was killing you. Yep. Praise God, but they didn't know they was promoting you. Come on. Come on, my boy. Come on. Yes. Are people understanding this? Oh, they, they better be, because that's the are truth. Are you understanding this? Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, Apostle, they thought now Joseph was dreaming, right? Yeah, yeah. Joseph shared the dream with his brothers. Yes. And his brothers, they put him in a pit. Yeah. They didn't understand, Mama, My God. that when they was putting Joseph in a pit, yeah. and they sold him to those Ishmaelites, yes. they thought that they were sending Joseph to his death. My God. But what they did not know, shut up. My God, my God, my God. <laughs> What, what, they did not what know they did not know was they were sending Joseph smack back yes. in the middle of his destiny. Yeah. Come on. Can, can I just prophesy to somebody tonight? Prophesy, prophesy. That what the devil meant for evil, yes. God said, I'm turning it around for your good. Come on, brother. He said, what the enemy meant for evil. Yes. This is what Joseph told his brothers. When he got in Egypt, yes, he went on the slit on the trader's block and he was bought by Potiphar. And then he went into the prisoner. But when God brought him out of the prisoner, yeah. he could not help but be to promote it to the palace. My Am God. I talking to somebody? Yes. I just feel the presence of God. Yeah. The same brothers that put him in the pit, uh, yeah. had to come back and beg him. Uh, oh God, what is this tonight? Uh, I had only going to tell somebody uh, the same people uh, yeah. that try to kill you, uh, yeah. that try to bury you. Uh, yeah. They coming back bowing before you. Oh yeah, brothers. Yes, yes, yes. They coming back power. Yes. The Bible said when yes, Joseph yes, looked, yes, 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 yes. when Joseph look around, yeah. they came back and they was like, um, excuse me. Yeah. Are y'all you have any um sir? They was even calling him sir. Yeah. They was calling him your honor. Yes. Right honorable. I'm um, chief governor. Uh, they didn't even recognize it was him. I'm gonna tell somebody today uh, all the things that you went through. Uh, by the time God bring you out of this, uh, amen. People even ain't gonna recognize it. Yeah. <laughs> They even ain't gonna recognize you. People ain't gonna even recognize you. They even ain't gonna recognize you. They even ain't gonna recognize you. No, 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 no. Because you, you are the next that's getting ready to happen. Yes. You are the next big thing that God is getting ready to do in the earth. Come on. Touch two or three people and say, it is done. 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 It is done in the it name of done Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, Ooh. Apostle. Yes, Prophet. Joseph ahead. is now in a place. Yes. Where he, can you imagine the season of his prison? Listen to this. Yeah. Can you imagine the season of his prison? Yes. The embarrassment of his prison. My God. So sometimes you gotta go through a little embarrassment. Yep, 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 yep. Sometimes God permits you yes. to go through a little hardship. Hardship, hardship, that's the word, hardship. I'm talking to someone Come today. On. And you feel like I mean, your back is against the wall. My God. And it think it look like it is over. Yeah. Yes. But God said, I will make a way Yay. out of no way. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, he's so, made a way. He, he, he's in the prison. Yes. He's embarrassed now. Yes. And you can imagine all the flashback he was having, and the devil was like, uh -huh. hey, hey, uh -huh. you old dreamer, where's your dream now? Come on, come on. Where's your dream now? But he did all of that. He did not lose his integrity. He did not lose his faith in God, apostle. Oh, hallelujah. That's what I wanted to get to tonight. <laughs> and the Bible say, when Joseph remember who he was, yes. this word is for somebody tonight, Maria. This word is for you. Come on. Praise God. Sheen, this word is for you tonight. My God. All of you that are watching right now. Come on, come on. Praise God, Lady D, this one is for you. What? Praise God, Ooh. come on somebody. <laughs> because when people think... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When people think, praise God, that you're at the end, praise God. Yes. When people think you're at 
your very end. Yes, yes. What they, what, what they forgot was God is not just Alpha. Hey, come he on, is brother. Omega. Yes. He's not just Omega. Come on. He is the beginning yes. and the end. Yes, yes. Come on, brother. So, Joseph is in prison, Apostle. Yeah. And, and he's the now... Devil he's, he had him. The devil thought he had him. Yeah. And he was sharing all his dreams. He was telling his brothers, yes, yes, I yes. dream where y'all gonna bow down. Yeah. I dream where the sun and the moon gonna bow down. Yeah. And now he's stuck in a rock. And I want to say to people tonight, because I'm talking to a lot of people right now. I'm looking at a lot of people in the realm of the spirit. Yes. And I'm seeing because a lot of people feel like, what's the sense? My God. Like, God, where are you? My God. Praise God. That was the word in the 6 a.m. prayer my, this morning. My, my, my. Because God told me to tell the people, don't give up. Don't give don't, up. Don't even think about my God. That's a message all by itself. That's the one by itself, Apostle. All by itself. We got to stay focused. Oh, yeah. We got to stay yeah, focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't quit. It is done. My so, God. Joseph now, Apostle, amen, uh -huh. he is in the prison, and uh -huh. he is now all the flashback he's having, yes. and the devil is teasing him. My Anybody God. ever been teased by the devil? Yeah. And the devil is teasing him and saying, you old yeah. fool, the devil look or, where you or, is. Or, or, or his cousins. Or his cousins. Yeah. And, and, and you being in that place where you didn't testify yes. and tell the church how you ain't never turning back. Yeah. Praise God. You want to thank God for everybody and yeah. all, all the two and all, all the troubles he brought you through. Yeah. And now you in trouble again. Yeah. But Joseph had faith in God. Oh, yeah. Now, here's why we can tell you it is done. Yeah. Here's another reason why, Apostle, uh -huh. we can sit here and prophesy yeah. and tell people, regardless of their situation or circumstance, tell God said it is done. Mm -hmm. Joseph is in a place, in a prison, and in a cell in the midst of inmates. Yeah. And even though the devil was telling them it's over, it's finished, you ain't gonna never be nothing what you saw, the Bible, Joseph work with his resources mm -hmm. and this is the word I want to give people tonight yes. work with human resources yeah. hold on hold on hold on hold help on. us with that problem. I gotta help them help with us, this because this one that. is help deep <laughs> this is deep My God. praise God help me, help you me. gotta work with human resources, human resources. when God give you a preceding prophecy uh -huh. and tell you it is done uh -huh. but it don't look like it is done uh -huh. am I talking to somebody okay, okay. then you gotta work with what around you come on so when God David I'm um, Joseph said, wait a minute, God, you say it's done, uh -huh. but I in a prison. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, amen, till Joseph realized, wait a minute, there's humans in this prison hey. with me. So <laughs> Joseph began to tap into his dream. He said, if it's done, God says done, but it ain't look like it's done. Uh -huh. Let me see what I got. I got a gift, and even in prison, uh, yeah. I can try my gift out. Hey, hey, come on, Providence. That's a good thing about the gift. That's a good thing about the gift. The gift works anywhere. It, Jesus. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> works Ooh, anywhere a yes, yes, yes. I need at least 12 people, praise <laughs> God, to receive that word. I'm sorry, we're in Come thousands. Thousands, 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 thousands. <laughs> Listen. The so, gift, so the gift, the make... gift works anywhere, uh -huh. and prayer works anywhere. Oh, God. Prayer works anywhere. I don't care where you might. I don't care how much, how much, how much bias they have you locked behind. You get down on your knees and begin to pray. Yes. Them bias will start opening. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so the gift works, uh -huh. but the gift with prayer. Come on. The gift with prayer is Come what on. Apostle is saying. Yes. Can work any place any and anywhere. Place. Yeah. So Joseph began to pray. Yeah. And as he began to pray in the prison, yes. the Spirit of God yes. reminded him that he had a gift. Yes. And that's what I want to say to at least 7,000 of y'all. Yes. God said, remind you, you got a gift. You got it. You got it. You, you got a gift. You got the treasure. You got the treasure. An urgent vessel. An urgent vessel. <laughs> Come on, brother. He said, you have this treasure. Yes. An earthen vessel. Come on. That the excellency of the power. Yes. May be of God. Yes. And not, not of, of yourself. Come on. Come on. So watch this now. Watch uh -huh. this. Uh -huh. So Joseph is in prison. Are you, as you're coming in tonight. Yes. Please, it's important that you stay with us. We have prayer requests. We have your prayer requests. We're going to be taking prayer requests Ooh. from social media tonight. Yes. YouTube, if you're anywhere, tell somebody. Call your cousin. Come on. Call everyone. Say, get online now. Yes. Because we are proof positive. We are I'm talking about million dollar miracles are happening. Yes, yes. Praise God. Amen. Life changing miracles Woo. are happening because of this altar of prayer. Come on. 
Joseph, the, as he prayed, apostle, yeah. the spirit of God reminded him, uh -huh. hey, what is your problem? Yeah. You have a gift. Come he on. said, huh? You he said, about. you have a gift. And he said, okay, I have a gift. How are you going to use my gift? So he said, God, hey. use these gifts on these prisoners. On, these prisoners. on, on your inmates, on they, your cellmates. They need a word. They, they need a word. And even though they're in prison, they're still dreaming. That's just what I want to say. That's what I want to say. Okay, okay. <laughs> So, so watch it now. But they did not just dream just like that. No, no, no. Because of the gift that Joseph carried. Uh huh. Joseph activated. Ooh, my God. He just activated them. He activated he them. Like, hey. oh, 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 oh. Woo. Joseph. <laughs> Joseph yeah. activated the other inmates. <laughs> yes, yes. To start dreaming. Yes, brother. Did y'all get that? Yes. He made them start dreaming. Yes. Joseph was going to stay in prison. Come on, he brother. He was going to dead in prison yeah. or die, die in prison. dead, whatever. If he did not pray. Come on. And then activate his gift. Come on. And made the other prisoners dream. Ooh. What I, listen, Apostle, ooh, I don't want to segue from this, but I want to say this. Yeah. I told the people in the morning prayer this morning. Uh -huh. I said in the prayer and consecration at 6 a.m. Uh -huh. Praise God. I said to them, and can you imagine that Daniel, praise God, was getting ready to be executed by way of hungry lions. <laughs> praise God. And they told him, do not pray. Uh, but yet he still opened his window pray, and prayed. Pray. He still pray. And the Bible say uh -huh. that when they threw him in the lion's den, uh -huh. because he lived a life of prayer and fasting, yeah. the lions automatically went on prayer and fasting. <laughs> The, lion, the lions became vegetarian. The lions went from, from the vegetarian. They stopped eating meat. <laughs> Somebody needs to know tonight My God. that we are so excited because of yes. the, the amount, the abundance Come on. of good news that we have been receiving yes. because our altar is an altar of prayer, My God. an altar of power, yes. an altar of fire. Can I wrap this up, Apostle? Come on, brothers. Can I wrap this up for somebody Ooh, tonight? Get not, get not. Jabaraba, karaba, sata. I want at least, praise God, a 7,000 of you all to type the word, word praise God and it is done again. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done it in is the name done. of Jesus. It is done. And put fire with it. Woo! Come it on. It is done. It is done in Jesus' name. It is done in Jesus' name. So listen to this done, now. It is done. It is done. So Joseph now, when he prayed, yeah. he realized, wait a minute, hold on. I, I, if, if I don't start praying quick, fast, and hurry, yes. I'm going to die in this prison. My God. I'm going to die. I'm going to become a part of the statistics. Yeah. I'm going to become a, a part of the statistics. And, yes. And, and, and I, if I don't pray yeah. and use my gift, yeah. I will be a part of the receipt. Recidivism rate. Come on. The rate of recidivism where people leave prison and they come back, leave prison and come back, yes. leave prison. Have you all met them before? Yeah. You, you come out of debt, but next year you write back in debt. My God. Praise God. You can't deliver you from one thing, amen. My you God. back into another thing. Yeah. So God said, I want to end this cycle of come viciousness. On. Come on. And Joseph tapped into his ability by prayer. Yes. When he tapped into his ability by prayer, my God. then all of a sudden he remembered, wait a minute, I have a gift of, of dreams. Yes. An interpretation That's of dreams. Yes. So because he was a dreamer. My he, God. He, he prayed a kind of prayer yes. that forced his inmates yes. that night to go to sleep and have a dream. Yes. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. Come on. What is this? Come on, brother. He, he forced them to go to sleep. The dream. And forced them to have a dream. Have a dream. So when, when daybreak now, we didn't talk about them daybreak angels. Yeah. When daybreak came up now, yeah. they met Joseph sitting down. Uh -huh. The people come, the wardens come with the food. My Joseph God. say, uh-uh, carry that food back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joseph wait for the other inmates to wake up. Come on. When they wake up, he say, uh -huh, uh -huh. What did you dream? What did you dream? <laughs> ah, tell me your dream. Tell me your dream. Uh huh. And so one say, I dreamt like, you know, uh, yeah, you know, the baker said, I dreamt like there was a basket on my head. And man, when I look, amen, all the birds begin to fly and eat off the basket until they eat, eat, eat. They almost eat my head off. Joseph said, uh oh. oh. <laughs> That's not a good dream. He's dead. He said, <laughs> you dead. He said, You dead. You getting out of here. But when you get out of here, 
<laughs> you finished. Yeah. Pharaoh's gonna have your head. <laughs> so now, can you imagine the butler? The butler was sitting down like, oh, the devil is alive. So I was like, what you drink, butler? Butler said, mm, the devil is alive. <laughs> you talking about cutting the head off and eating the eye. He said, no, no, seriously, man. Tell yeah. me what you drink. So the butler said, I dreamt. Like, I went up the up there. Like, Pharaoh called for me. Uh -huh. I went, Pharaoh called for me. Yeah. Like, I saw, like, I went up into another chamber. Uh -huh. And blah, 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 blah. And Joseph said, look at you. Ooh. Joseph said, man, I got ready, good boy. news. I got good news. It's done. Joseph said, guess what? You're going to get out of prison. And Pharaoh is going to call for you. Yeah. And when you get out of this prison, you're about to get a promotion. Ooh. Oh, that for somebody tonight, brother. That for somebody. Somebody better be promoted. You're about to get You're about to be promoted. Hallelujah. You're about to be promoted. Yes, yes. I feel it very strong in my spirit. Oh, yeah. That somebody, the devil trying to set you up. Yeah. The devil trying to give you a bad report. Yeah. The devil trying to make your boss or your superiors look down on you. That devil is a liar. He's a liar. I declare in the name of Jesus, instead of a demotion, you shall get a promotion. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Promotion. So. So this is what people need to understand right yes, now. Brothers, yes. Those of you that are on this, listening to us tonight, yeah. God is a God of supernatural increase. Yes. So Joseph made the man to dream. Yes. And when he activated him in the dream realm, My God. he had a gift. The second gift he had, first gift was prayer. Uh -huh. Second gift was dreaming. Uh -huh. Third gift was interpretation of dreams. Uh -huh. Praise God. Amen. So when he dreamed that, he said, now let me prophesy to you. Joseph was a type of prophet. Yeah. And he told him the interpretation. He said, now you're going to get on here and you're going to get promoted. Yeah. Now, I, I, I mean, I want to tell you the last part of the interpretation of your dream. My God. But before I tell you that, uh -huh. I need you to make me a promise. Uh -huh. And he said, what is it? Tell me. Whatever you tell me. Mm -hmm. he, he meant whatever you tell me. So I said, when you get out of prison My God. and you get into your palace, your kingdom. into your kingdom, <laughs> Don't Do forget not forget me. me. <laughs> Do forget not forget me. me. <laughs> the butler even in wait for Joseph to give him the final word. The butler turned around. He was a prophet. He said, it is done. It is done. My God. My God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Somebody need to know this tonight. Yeah. It is done. It is done. Yeah. It's not about to be done. Yeah, it's not. It is done. In Jesus' name. Whatever you believe in God for tonight. My God, it's done. We are prophesying. My God. People are believing God for miracles for their family. People, some of you are right now believing God. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. To work things out, like we said, in your finances. Praise God. Some people don't know where the next dollar is coming from. My God. But God knows where it's coming from. Yes, Praise God. Yes, yes. Amen. If you had to send Peter down to the sea to get the money out of the mouth of the fish, yes. I can tell you if you have faith in God tonight. Apostle, I just feel something in my spirit. I don't want to go backwards. I want to go forward. But you know, I mean, you've been teaching a lot about faith. Amen. Yeah. And uh, uh, especially on your, your new platform, Apostolic Warriors. Can we give God a praise? Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, and, and so if you haven't subscribed to that yet, you can go ahead and subscribe to it as Apostolic Warriors. Praise God. But I want to say something, Apostle. Uh -huh. A lot of people, amen, they, they have to understand how faith works. Yep. The Bible says faith without work is dead. Yep. So, amen, Joseph had to do something. Yes. He, even though he, 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 he said he believed, he had to do something. Yes. Even though he had the dream, praise God, he had to what? Do something. To do something. To bring it to pass. Come on. And I just feel like a lot of Christians, a lot of people, you know, they say, I have faith, I have faith, I have faith, I have faith. But they talk it, but they don't know how to walk it out. They, they don't know how to move. They, they gotta know, move. They, they, they gotta, gotta move. move. Yes. Yeah, you gotta move. You gotta move with it. You can't just, I mean, talking, confession is one part of your faith. Yes. But now you gotta, you gotta act. You gotta yes. act. You gotta act. You gotta move. Hallelujah. If you believe, if, that, if you believe, then you act on what yes. you believe. So if you believe that God is gonna bless you, then now you act. You, how you act? You can sow. Okay, you, you believe God's going to bless you. Uh, if you if you listen to, uh, I, I talk about that, 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 that woman in First Kings. Okay, hallelujah. And when Elijah, first of all, Elijah came. Elijah was out there and God said, I'm, I'm taking you from here now. It's time for you to move. Mm -hmm. and, he, and she took him to, to this, this woman. And you would think that God would take Elijah to someone that was 
financially well off. Yes. But God take Elijah to this woman who was about to die, who was a, on her last little bit of flour, mm -hmm. her last little bit of oil. And when Elijah come and say, hey, bake me some, bake me something to eat, the woman say, no, I can't bake you nothing to eat because I was just about to bake. I, I already put my last little bit of flour in the pot with the oil. Me and my son was about to make a piece of bread. And then we was going to eat this, and we was going to die. That's First King 70. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, and so, and so, and so now, here it is. Elijah was like, hey, bake me a cake. Bake the cake like you say you was going to do. Mm -hmm. But Give it bring to me, me first. first. Bring me, bring. Now, 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 watch this. This woman is on her last. Her last piece, little bit of flour. Her and her son. Nothing else to eat in the house. Come on. You know where nothing else coming from. Amen? But Elijah is saying to her, no, bake the cake and bring me the piece of cake first. Jesus. Before you even feed your son, bring me a piece of that cake first. Wow. Now, now, see, this, this calls for faith. This is, you're going to see faith in action. Because, see, she could have she could stalk and say whatever, but now she was, Elijah put her in a place where she had to act. Only two choices she had. Either she was going to do what Elijah said, and bake the cake and bring it, or she was going to say no and bake the cake. They was going to eat it, and then they would have died just like she said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she stepped out in faith, and she acted on that on the word. She acted on the word that Elijah taught, said to her. She ran and she baked the cake, and she gave it to Elijah first. Yes. And then she ran back. And because she stepped out and acted, it wasn't just a, a, a talking. She acted on her faith. Yes. The Bible said, she had enough from that same one little morsel of flour and, 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 and one little bit of oil. Think about it now. The Bible says she was gathering sticks yeah. to bake Come the bread. So it, it couldn't have been nothing much no. that she was baking. You know, I told the people, you know, I grew up in, when I grew up with my grandfather, we never, he never tell us go and get um, fire sticks. Mm. He always said get fire wood. Wood. Oh. wood, not sticks. You know, it's the difference between sticks and wood. Jesus. Wood, wood is a bigger and, you know, usually bigger stick is one little piece of day. Yeah. So she was walking through the yard picking up sticks. So that means she know she didn't, she, wouldn't, she didn't need a big fire because she ain't had much to bake. My God, a pancake. Or much to fry. A cupcake. That's all. But she stepped out and the Bible said because she acted on her faith, she never, that, that little bit of flour never ran out. Never. And she had enough to eat and eat and eat. Until the famine was over. Wow. And God made provision for Jesus. her to get more. Apostle. See, that's the difference of acting. Yes. And, and talking. Yes. Many of us, we know how to talk faith. Yes. And like I said, it starts with talking. Yes. But you got to learn how to act. Yes. Now think about it. That was that woman. Don't focus on the fact that she only had a morsel of flour. That was her last. That was her last. Jesus. That's what you got to focus on. See, whether it, was a, whether it was a muscle or whether it was a pound of flour, whatever she had, it was her last. Yes. And she knew that she did not know where nothing else was coming for. Wow. From. But she had, to, she had to step out in faith and listen to what the prophet said to her. Jesus. The word that came from the prophet. And it's the same thing with Elijah in 2 Kings chapter 4. Yes. Hallelujah. The same thing. The woman had to step out and say, listen. Uh, 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 my servant, my, my husband is dead. Yes. And she went to Elijah and Elijah gave her a command and tell her the same thing. Go. Go now and, and, and go through, borrow all the empty vessels. Yes. And then close your house and pour one of the ones. She said, I have one jar of oil. One jar. Mm -hmm. A jar of oil. Yeah. My husband is dead. The creditors have come to take away my sons to go and work the debt off, the bill that my husband left, mm. that he didn't pay before he died. Yes. She went to the man of God and said, this was one of your, 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 your servants, Elijah. Now, love it, she went to the prophet. She went to the prophet. Right. And she said, my husband was one of your junior trainees. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. he, was, he, was, he was with the sons of the prophet. Yes. And you were training him, but he's dead. Elijah said, okay. Elisha now said, go and borrow all the vessels you can borrow. Go in your house, shut your house up, and then pour. And she began to pour from one jar. To the next jar. To every, all of those big gallons of, of drums that she borrowed. Were filled. And as long as she poured, as long as she bring another oh empty God. one. Jesus. The, the, the oil never stopped Capacity. pouring out of that one Apostle. jar. Ooh. 
Oh my God. It's fake. But what, see, 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 see. Like I said, people look at the prophets and there and they say the prophet, these prophets today, you know, you know, these prophets today is be asking these people to do some things. But listen to what these what these men of God was asking the women, these ladies, these widows. Uh, impossible things it to man. It seemed to be like impossible and they were on their last. Yes. But I, I that's why I believe. Now this this one kind of deep. But and everyone can receive this, but for those who have an air, Jesus, hear what I'm saying. Yes, I believe that God could take you from poverty yes. to being a millionaire in one day. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because that's what happened to this woman in yes. Second Kings. Yes. When she was finished pouring, she went back to the prophet and said, Well, I did what you said. Uh-huh. All the vessels are filled. I have a house full of oil now. What am I supposed to do? The prophet say, go sell all that oil. Pay off your bills. Right, and live off the rest. And live off the rest. So, apostle. So that means this, this wasn't no, this wasn't no $20, 20 you know. No. You know I did. This was money because, first of all, for the fact that they wanted to take her two sons. The two of her children. Two, two of them to go and work off this pastor. bill. That wasn't no little small oh, bill. Jesus. That was a big bill. So what she, what she, what she did when she obeyed the prophet and, and, and was willing to give her oil over and, and, and obey what the prophet said, she was able to pay that whole bill off yeah. and she had enough to live on her and her son now for the rest of her life. She went from being broke, she became a millionaire. In one day. In one day. And so I believe if we obey God, God can hook you up the same way. Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, people of God, those of you that are just coming in tonight. Amen. I, 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 we want you to do something tonight because, I, I, you know, people keep missing yeah. their, their grand opportunity. I believe so. Because you, you're being distracted. Yes. And sometimes you click in, you'll be clicking all night trying to find somebody, trying to find a prophet, trying to find something to, to, to sensationalize you. Come on. Listen, tonight we are declaring and telling you. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Stay. Pack right here yeah. for a few minutes more because I believe that there is an anointing praise going Come on. upon this altar of prayer tonight Come on. for somebody life to change. Yes, 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 yes. yes. The anointing is here. I believe the presence of God is here. It's here, it's here. When we it's say here. the anointing, we're talking about the presence, the presence of God. Yes. So the apostle, listen to me now. So the prophet prophesies yes. and he says to the woman uh-huh. he speak to her he never say Rabba, ba, 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 no, no. thus said the Lord thy no, God no. by this time tomorrow he just said what do you have in your house and the woman say this is what I have all I have is this one job just all I have is one job one job, one job. One job. One job. and watch this now I was telling the people apostle uh-huh. based on what you're saying right now uh-huh. is that now the prophet is carrying a certain capacity from God amen and his capacity that he is carrying uh-huh. is able praise God to change your life come on Come on, now, now, hold on. Come on. It has the ability to change your life. Yes. Praise God, bring me a smaller little glass. Quickly, Come bring on. me a smaller glass. Hallelujah. So it, it, and a bottle of water. So the prophet is carrying, amen, a, a, a certain level. Yes. A certain level of spiritual power. Yes. A certain level, praise God, God. Of, of, a, of authority and dominion. Hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Yes. That he can, he can speak to you and prophesy. Yes. And make something happen. Now, the next question is, praise God, do you have, praise God, apostle right there, put it right there, thank you. Mm-hmm. So this you, this the prophet, right? This the prophet. And the prophet is wanting to speak into your life. Uh-huh. But now, as you pour, as you pour, uh-huh. see, now watch this now. This is your, this all your capacity is. Oh, Jesus. Come on, prophetess. This all you can carry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yep. all you can, this all your okay. little, your little, little capacity right there. That's it. And, 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 and now you're full. You're full. Now you're full. Uh-huh. Because why? You only have a small little capacity. <laughs> you, got, you ain't got much faith. My God. You ain't got much barrels. Come here. on, brother. The brothers. man said, go and get some vessels. Get some more. And she only go on and get, must see, like 12 or 10 of My them. My God. And the apostle said, the prophet said, pour. She and she pour. And she then pour. she said, oh. No, oh, more. Lord, no more at no all. More at all. <laughs> so this is what the Spirit of God is saying right now. God is saying to somebody tonight, you got to have faith in God. Yes, yes. And you got to believe when the prophets yes. say something yes. that God is talking to you. Come on, brother. Yeah. 
That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You got to believe that God is talking to you. Yes. So how you going to show now that you believe God talking to you? My God. You go get a bigger vessel. Bigger vessel. You increase your capacity. And, 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 and that's what God has the ability through the prophet to do. Yes. To increase your capacity. To prayer. To prayer. To fasting. Yes. To the word. Yes. To you give it. Yes. Am I talking to someone yes. tonight? So watch this now. Now, 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 now see God will work with this little vessel. Uh-huh. If that's all you got. That's the beginning. Yes. This your beginning. That's God will work. He said that's uh -huh. all you got. But now, I'll just work with that. But I got I won't give you more. But and then he asks you. What do you have in your heart? Jesus. What happened is the people, when, when God blessed them here, and they feel like, oh, this is pretty good. Yeah. You see? Because the glass, the glass is full. Yes. I, I, I'm happy with this. Mm. They don't want to give it to God. Wow. Or they feel like, well, you know, this is just enough. It's just enough. That's enough for me and my son. Yes. So I, if I give this to God, what me and my son got? Jesus. Yeah. Not realizing now that God wants to take this, if you're willing to give it to him and turn it into this. Jesus. Hallelujah. If you're willing to give it to him, he wants to take this uh -huh. and turn it into this. That's it. He wants to increase your capacity. And he wants to increase your capacity that you can have more to pour. Hallelujah. You have more and more and more and more and more, and more, and more, and more, and more, and more to pour. And as you pour, more is coming into you. Hallelujah. More is coming into you. And so, see, this is why, this is why, prophetess, you know, I, I told people that we, God has, God have me on this, on this lane right now, this road, this highway, in teaching the people faith and prayer. Yes. Like we he have us on tonight. Yes. Because I don't, I still don't believe believers fully understand faith and prayer. Right. The it's power of a, it. It's just a talk. Yeah. I still think a lot of us, we still talk in this thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But we, see, see when, when you truly have faith, you will do what that woman did. You, you are willing to take your last little bit of flour. Uh -huh. And, and if the prophet say, if God say, bless me, sow that. Mm -hmm. You're willing to sow it because you believe that faith, when you give it, uh -huh. God is going to take it, press it together. He's going to multiply it mm. and shake it down. And he's going to give you back way more than you had before. Than what you ever gave to him. So, Apostle, one of the things we discussed just recently, you and I, is uh -huh. that a lot of people in their graves saying they had faith. Yeah. People went to the grave and they said, I, they went to their grave, said, I got faith, I got faith. Uh -huh. And they never accomplished or, or achieved anything oh that God. they say they had faith for. Now, watch this. And there are some that went. Uh -huh. But they had faith. Uh -huh. And the fact that they had faith is the fact that I ain't gonna, if God, I'm going to keep serving God. Uh -huh. I'm going to keep doing what God say. And if God do never show up for me, I'll die trusting that God, that my faith in God. Exactly. So, so they didn't give up on their they faith. They didn't give up. But then you got the people now that you're talking about that they, you know, we say we have faith, but whenever God put a challenge to us. To our faith. Fear oh. come. We allow fear. Oh. Fear. Fear. Ooh. Providence. Ooh, God say, come to Fort Lauderdale. Move into Fort Lauderdale. Uh -huh. After we had tried it the first time and it didn't work. Yeah. And he said, come now, I'm ready for you all now. Years later. Years later, a few years later. Mm -hmm. He said, come, I'm ready for you all to do this now. See, if we didn't have faith, we would have never done that again. We would never do it because again. Because we, we would have allowed fear to cripple us yes. and say, well, you all know you all tried that before. Yeah, you know, I was renting up all these hotels and renting up all these places and people wasn't showing up. Yeah. But because our faith was in God, we moved. Yes. So now he brought us here. He said, now it's time to establish something here in Atlanta. Yes. Faith again. Faith again. Faith again. Build an altar in Atlanta. Build an altar and establish the altar in Atlanta. Okay? And so now we are here establishing an altar in Atlanta. Hallelujah. Yes. And, and it, 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 it ain't easy. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it, you know, we say cheap in the Bahamas. I don't know if you all know what cheap means. You know, it costs you. Yes. It costs you to yes. do this, to, to establish a work here, just as it did with us in, in the Bahamas, and in Fort Lauderdale, and in, in, in Texas, hallelujah, in, in humble Texas, hallelujah, Virginia. and in Virginia. Pakistan. It costs you to do these things. Yeah. But you, we believe that if we take our last and give it out for God, God's going to bless this back. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He's going to bless us and so we hear this. Like I said, hallelujah. You know, I, I was just joking with somebody on yesterday. 
you know, wanted to go to get a ticket from Bahamas to Atlanta was like 200 and something dollars. To get a ticket today, not even first class, regular seating, is over eight hundred dollars. Wow. wow! So this is and for you to bring ten people and fifteen people in, to, to, to get to be here. This ain't no jokey stuff. No, this is yes. real. Yeah, hey, man, this so, is real. But we have faith in God. Yes, we have faith in and God, and we know that it was God who spoke to us. Once you know it is God that is speaking oh, yes. to you, yes. or your prophet hears from God, and yeah. your prophet is saying, "Release a seed." Mm. And you have that seed. See, you people say, how do you know God talking to you? If God asks for 100 and you have 100, God talking to you. Wow. And now it's upon you to say, I'm going to step out in faith. Even if mm. this is my life, I'm going to step out in faith. Yes. And I'm going to give this $100. Yes, sir. So the, the, matter, the matter here, Apostle, that you are sharing, and this is very powerful, mm -hmm. I must admit, it is very powerful. Uh -huh. I, I think that what, what I was saying earlier also, that people are going to their grave saying they have faith, they have faith. They don't realize is that faith works as a principle. It works with a principle, mm -hmm. a formula. There's a formula, and you have to, you have to carry it out to the T. And if, yeah. if, if, if God is saying you to do something, your act of obedience, this is what, what I was saying, what you said just now, uh -huh. was that we had to first of all hear the voice of God uh -huh. and we had to be willing to obey what he told us to do. You have to. And, 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 and this law of, and the principle is not based on anything in the past. No. Faith is always now. 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 Faith now, is now. now faith now, is. Now faith is. So we, we could not base our, our answering the call to the mission field no. based on all the times we felt as though we had failed Amen. and and we had rented all those arenas and we had done this and done that and we got there and then we were like what what are, you know where's the people where's this where's it and we and there was no way to get your monies back <laughs> there was no way to get nope. a refund or no nope. ticket no nope. you know and, and the hotel in Canada you have people in show up apostle <laughs> do you remember and even as recent as uh -huh. 2020 yeah. and i don't know if any of the administrators will remember this Mm -hmm. We had booked an event that was supposed to happen mm -hmm. in uh, in Fort La in Florida. Yes, and we had already booked, I think, like two flights, two airlines. Yes, worth of tickets. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> and and the pandemic happened. Bam. The pandemic happened, and yep. I'm talking Everything about like shut down. over forty something thousand dollars was just on tickets, and. Everything shut down. Shut down. And then when we were calling, when they were calling, wasn't the, giving no refund. No refund. They were telling <laughs> the you. The hotel to, wasn't giving you a refund. No, no refund. place was refunding you. And they say we'll have to hold this on our book for a year. Yeah. Now who's to say we was gonna even have an event a year later? Oh, we was gonna have an event. <laughs> Because they wasn't going to take our money like that. But it was so <laughs> apostle. If we had to pay people to come to that event, we would have that. <laughs> but if you can remember, we, we, we were able to use some of it to get tickets later. Yes, but yes, some yes. of it we lost. Yeah. I'm just trying to say to people, you know, when you call by God and God has given you a big mandate yeah. and a big assignment to do, sometimes it's going to look like you are out of failure. Yeah. It's going to look like all kind of roadblocks that jump in your way. Ooh, you right. And amen, Jim. Me and, 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 and Timmy and the devil that interrupt your whole progress. Oh, yeah. Am I talking to even I'm talking to somebody right now, Apostle? I yeah. feel in my spirit yeah. that there's someone that is watching us, praise God, uh -huh. that you were in business. And the Lord, you know that you're called by God, praise God, to be in business. My God. But it seemed like every time you try to go forward with your business plan, like the devil, praise God, he yanks everything out of you. You're watching right now, praise God. Amen. I come against that spirit. I want to pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. That, that spirit of hindrance and blockage. Yes. That spirit that devours all of your finances. Yes. That that demon will loose you in the in name Jesus of name. Jesus. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. And even as you speak the words that prophet and yes. the business, there's, there's some people that are watching us tonight that you say, like you said, that business are Shabba struggling Shabba and it's struggling and it's struggling. And, and the reason why some of your business is struggling is because God already, as a Christian person, God already touched you and talked to you and said, told you to release a seed out of that business. Wow. You have been rebellious. You have been stubborn. You wouldn't do what God said. Mm. And as soon as you release that seed, you will see 
your business will take off just like that. Yes. As soon as you obey God and you release that seed. I'm not talking, I know there are people that, you know, you're giving, you're giving a little something every now and then. But see, God has, God touched you to release a specific seed. Wow. And you, you're you still holding up because you still, you say, oh, if I do this, oh, you, you still, you're still in, in the balance. Wow. You're still wavering. And as long as you're wavering, you will never be blessed. Yes. You, you, can't, you know, the Bible says, talks about it in the book of James chapter one. You can read it. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, if you if you like the wave of the sea, a double-minded man, double-minded man is unstable in all, in all of his ways. Amen? Yes. So so if you stay, if you, if you can't believe, he said in, in, in uh, uh, Hebrews 11, he said, uh, he said, uh, 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 he said, uh, uh, the, the just, sorry, not that, that, let me give you this one. The just shall live, what? By faith. By faith. Yes, sir. Every, believers have to understand, as Christians, we walk by faith. Yes. You got to walk by, you got to learn how to walk by faith. Walking by faith is simply means you're trusting. You're trusting God. You're trusting God all the way. You don't, uh, I read the scripture uh, in, 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 in Corinthians, hallelujah, chapter 4, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, hallelujah. You know, uh, uh, we walk by faith, sorry, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, we walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. Not by sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. We walk by faith, not by sight. Too many of us are living by sight. Wow. We are making our decision based on what we see. Wow. Physically. And so because of what we see physically, we don't act on when God is saying, do something. You, you look, the first thing you start to think, oh, if God say, release this now, first thing you will look at, well, how much I have? Mm. If I take this from what I have, how much I have left? Oh, God. That's walking by sight. sight. That's what walking by sight is. Wow. But if God say, release it, and even if that's all that you had, yes. if God spoke that number to you, He's release it in faith. He's, release it in faith. Yeah. He said, now Hebrews 11 says in verse 6, that he is a rewarder of them that, of them that were diligently seek it. Yes. That's good. And, with, uh, and he said, the only way, he said, if you, if, even if you come to God, you, you, you got to believe. Now watch what he said, without faith. Is impossible. At the beginning part of verse 6. It is impossible to please God. Yeah. So you're not you're not pleasing God if you're not walking by faith. Wow. According Apostle, to the scripture. That is that is so good. That Amen. is so So it's now coming to bring God pleasure. Yes. It is coming to do the will of God. Yes. It is now understanding that when you have done the will of God, uh -huh. in that when you have done Yes. The will of the God. The will of yes. God. Now, the onus is no longer on you. Uh -huh. It's now on God. It's on God. When you do what you said God said to you, for you to do. Yes. It's not, so when that woman came and gave the prophet, praise God, her last bit of meal. Yes. And put that in his hand. Yes. That it was no longer, the burden was no longer on her. No. The burden was now on the prophet. Amen. It was now on the man of God. Amen. It was now on the kingdom of God's Amen. sister. That's right. To, right. to cause this woman to live. Because she said, I'm going eat and I'm going to die. Yeah. And the prophet say, ah, stop talking about that. Yeah. Bring the cake to me bring first. Bring it now. Bring the water to me first. Bring it, bring it, bring it. And when she gave it, yes. that's when the, it shifted. It shifted all This, life, this all is where situation. people need to come into. When you take what is in your hand. Yes. And you give it into God's hand. Yes. It shifts the dynamics. Come on. Of that amen situation. The onus is no longer on you. No. Nope. It is now on God. It, it's all on God. It's all, and that's that's the woman with the with the, with the widow might. It's the same thing. Yes. Hallelujah. It was once she released it. Jesus said, "This woman name gonna be preached all over the world. All over the world because she she was stepping out in faith. My it's God. the same thing with the woman with the alabaster box. Amen. Uh, yes. Hallelujah. Because what she's willing to do and see the seed, the power of the seed, prophet, yes. is the power of the the, the, the the faith seed. Yes. The seed changes the soil. It does. It changes the whole atmosphere <laughs> under the earth. Yes. That's what the seed does. It does. So when you give a faith seed." You changing your whole atmosphere yes. and making it conducive for blessings. My God. Somebody give God Hallelujah. a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Yeah. We are, we, if you are just coming in tonight, God bless you and we welcome you. Listen, don't move, don't go. And we're getting ready to pray. We're getting ready to pray over your prayer request. Praise God. Amen. This is urgent prayer request night. Praise God. Minister, tell us what are people saying? Do we have anybody listening, watching, oh or what is happening? Please say something yes, to us. Yes, ma'am. Yes, apostle. 
Prophetess, God bless you both. I mean, the people on social media are just, they are lighting up social media because of what you and Apostle Prophetess are teaching. Apostle, they are being so blessed. And I saw this one comment, and I think I have to start with this comment. But Unika said, she said, I can say amen to everything that Apostle and Prophetess are saying. She said, but because of teachings, just like this, she said she has been able to walk in faith and blessings have manifested in her life. Jesus. Hallelujah. She Hallelujah. Said, yes. Yes. She just like this. Hallelujah. I've been so blessed and so many others are agreeing. They said, oh my God, we need to learn how to truly walk by faith. Yes. They've heard about it, but now they're understanding it's an action. Yes. It's a demonstration. Yes. It produces results. Yes. It is the result until what you're praying for manifests. Yes. And so many people are getting that revelation. I got it. They're sending the fire. We have Nicole. We have Teresa. We have Brianna, we have Elsa. We say this is so powerful. <laughs> uh, uh, Hallelujah. We have Andrea. Oh my God, Sharon. We've got Brittany. We've got Kayla. My God. They're being blessed. They're just coming in agreement Jesus. with this word. Yes. And thousands of people are connected right now, and they're all being blessed. Thank the you, fires Jesus. and the hearts are going up. Applause is going up. We've got Shirley. All she is saying is yes. Jesus. And about 50 X's behind that. God bless her. It's coming tonight. in agreement with my this God, word. God my Gia God. Gia my God. is saying this is so powerful. Thank you, Jesus. She's Hallelujah. honoring the Lord for this word that is coming forth tonight from you, prophetess and apostle. You, Amen. We've got Kenesha. We've got Rain. We've got Bri Brianna, Brian. We've got Augusta. We've got Kedra. We've got Joan. I mean, it, the list just goes on and on. I leave. Hallelujah. All she can say is amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. My God. To God be all the glory. Wow. Praise God. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much, minister. I believe tonight. And as we are sharing, praise God, as we're getting ready to pray, praise God. Amen. Some of you, no doubt, you're going to be dropping your prayer requests mm -hmm. into this chat tonight. Praise God. And it's for the simple reason, amen, in that, praise God, you have faith in the God of this altar. Yes. Praise God. <laughs> Apostle, you drink the capacity. Yeah. That's, that's the first one. This is supposed that's to be our demonstration cup. That's, the, that's, that's why I am demonstrating. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I'm demonstrating. Fire. Oh, God. Put some more back in the, in the capacity of the bus. But we... <laughs> we are demonstrating right now. As far, hey, as fast as you can empty it, God will fill it. Oh, hey! watch it now. Hey! <laughs> Well, I receive it in the name of Jesus. So God is doing what he is doing, praise yes, God. Yes, yes. He's doing it in the spirit. Amen. And, and this is why, Apostle, what I wanted to say is that it is spiritual. It is Life spiritual is spiritual. And it is faith. And it's faith. But faith is it's also spiritual. a spirit. It's a spiritual thing, Prophet. If you try to do this by the natural, forget it. It's Amen. not going to happen. Amen. Because you'll be, Apostle, you keep teaching this. You say, you'll be saying one plus one is only two. Yep. You'll and be that's saying, what's happening. That's yes. what's happening. It's sad to say, for the majority of Christians, that's what's happening. Yes. You take your little paycheck. Sorry, I didn't mean to call your paycheck little, but you take your paycheck and you sit down and you calculate. I make $600 a week. I make $1,000 a week. Mm. And then you calculate what your bills are mm. and what all you got to pay out. <laughs> Some people, are, some people in there saying they. <laughs> some, some, some people in there saying they can't wait to make a thousand a week. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. But see, understand, little is much when God is in it. So even if you're not making that thousand, if you could be faithful and and so in the God and in the things of God through faith, you people will look at you and think you're making a thousand a week. And so, but people sit down and they calculate, that is this, this all I make. So now, when it's time to give, they, they hold back. Yeah. Because they don't understand, they don't understand the power of giving in faith. Mm. Faith giving. Faith, faith giving is different from just giving. Yeah. I'm giving in faith. I'm giving with an expectancy. Oh when I release the seed, I believe in the, that, that in the name of Jesus, I'm going to get a harvest, a supernatural harvest Amen. from the seed that is going to go far beyond what the amount of the seed that I'm giving. 
Hallelujah. And so you, you got to be committed. You got to be consistent, yes, constant yes, with sir. what you're doing because you have faith in God. And yes, when, like I say, you just shall live by faith. My you God. just shall live by faith. We walk by faith and not by and sight. Not by sight. Apostle, I, 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 can you all just give God a clap of praise for this? I just, I, I just want to say this right now. We're getting ready to pray, and I've been saying that when we started. Yep. But I can't think about not one person. In fact, even right now, if we were to ask the people on social media, praise God, or ask the people that are watching us, our prayer army, our Zoom warriors, everybody, amen, how many of them are believing God for some type of miracle, whether a supernatural miracle, a financial miracle, or something, a promotion, or, it will almost be almost everybody apostle. Yeah. Now, there are other people that have other needs, and we will, we will going to pray for those needs, but I, I think the average person, because those examples you used tonight was, amen, now, now was, was the woman with the, with the oil, the woman with the little bit of meal, and gave it to the prophet, and and then even Joseph was believing God for a promotion. And he was believing God for a status change. He needed yeah. to get out of prison. And how he could get out of prison. But remember, his goal yeah. was the dream he had uh -huh. was that he was going to be seated in a high place. And his brothers was bowing down And there. his brothers was bowing. So there's some people tonight. You either need a financial blessing. Uh -huh. You need a financial miracle. You need a change in house. You need a change in address. You need a change in status. You need a promotion. Or you need an increase in the anointing. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. It's going to start tonight with prayer. In the name of Jesus. Because I can tell you tonight, people of God, and we want to pray for the finances. They can begin to drop it in the chat. Praise God. Some of the people, what they are believing God for. If you believe in God for finances, yes, praise God. Yes, put it in yes. there yes. and say, prophetess, I'm believing you for financial blessing. Yes. I'm believing you for, I'm believing God for debt cancellation. Oh, Some of you, it's going to be your business. Yes. Yes. Some of you are gifted. I see, a, I'm, I'm right back to business. Yeah. Apostle, a I'm lot of Christians you, yeah. are watching us right Right now, and it, they not all looking for a handout, you know. No. There's some of these people are very talented and yes. very gifted. Yes. You know, you understand what I'm saying. Some people can bake. Some people can cook. Some people are painters. I saw a lady the other day was prophesying to her, and I said, I see a painting, and I see you drawing this thing, and you know. And this, and this I prophesied to several people like this, but this one particular lady went back to where she came from, and she got a canvas and she started drawing. Yes. Now. Apostle, to be honest with you, when everybody saw the drawing, everybody was dumbfounded. <laughs> Not in a good way, in a bad way. They was like, what? Abstract. What is abstract? <laughs> but because the, I prophesied yes, and told the woman that your feelings are going to go around the world. Like the that. woman believed this prophet. And the woman said she did exactly what I told her to do. She sowed a seed and she went back home and started painting and drawing. Believe it or not, Apostle, the woman said she cannot draw or paint enough. <laughs> it just looked like swoosh, swash, swash, swash. Hey, that's but what, people that's, online is ordering swoosh, swoosh, swash, swash. That, that's what some of the greatest artists in the world does. Yeah. Swoosh, swash, swash, swash. <laughs> and they sell it up, amen. <laughs> so it's for some people tonight, we're getting ready to pray for uh -huh, you tonight. Uh -huh. And your prayer request is that your gift will make room for you. That's right. That your gift will make room for you. That God will have it if you're in a church or in a ministry. Your prophet will see your gift, yes, amen. Yes. Your, 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 how much time? Times apostle, right? Even in church, we all over the place. Our administrators trying to find someone to do this, yes. trying to find someone to do that. Yes. And at that time, so some the person is sitting right down in church. Oh, yes. And, and, and until you have to go prophesy, I remember they say, "Oh yeah." Yeah, I'm a creator about this. I'm a this and that. People sitting right down in church, we didn't even know they could have played a guitar. We didn't even know they could have beat a drum. Until now, we say, hey, and but they are now moving in their gift. So God wants to bless people tonight. We are getting ready to pray. Minister, you're about to say something yes, else. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, God come on, come on. Oh, my God. Again, as a testament to what both of you are saying, I'm just, she said, I have a praise report. Come on. She's been waiting for a promotion. She sold into this all and she sold upon the word time and time again. Just yesterday, she got the call. She got the promotion. Who is that? Andrea. 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 
Andrea. Andrea. Congratulations, yes. Andrea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God, God has favored you. Yes. yes. May your life never be the yes. same again. And there's so many more of you. You know many this more. to be true. Yes. That when we decree and we pray. So tonight we're getting ready to pray as you put your prayer request in that box. Yes. Tonight, praise God. Some of you are believing God for financial breakthroughs. Yes. Right, Some of you believe in God to answer you concerning your job. For debt cancellation. Yeah, Some of you believe in for debt cancellation. Yes. yes. Some people are believing for marriage, for yes. their marriages yes. to turn around. Total Some healing. people are believing God to get married. We yeah. got to pick it oh, 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 yeah. Some people are uh, poor. Let's believe in God for, for vindicate, to be vindicated. Praise hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. And exonerated. In the name of hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes, so Lord. He wants his record to be expunged. In the name of Jesus. In the name Jesus. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, do it for Paul right now. In the name of Jesus. Wherever he is tonight, in the name of uh -huh, Jesus. Uh -huh. Father, let there be a divine intervention. In the name of Jesus. A supernatural intervention. Yes, in the name on of Jesus. On his behalf, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, if, if he is guilty of any crime. Yes. Yes. Guilty of any sin yes. or at fault in any way. Yes. Father, let it be that he is willing to repent and in change his ways. And then let us record. Yes, be expunged. Be expunged. In Jesus. the name of Jesus. Somebody give God Clean up that record. Hallelujah. Clean it up in Jesus' name. LaShawn, she's praying for hallelujah for salvation for our unsaved family, financial breakthrough, yes. and debt cancellation and spiritual increase. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Father, let it be quick and speedy debt in cancellation. In the name of Jesus. Let it be speedy and de in let the, the, let the debt be wiped away in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do it in the name of Jesus. Do it in the name of Jesus. Do it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It is done in Jesus' name. It we is have, done. We have Elisha. Elisha is praying for a miracle, praying for kidney stones in the bladder and kidney stent with, with uh, kidney stones in the bladder, sorry. Hallelujah. Will come out successfully. Father, touch Elijah right now in, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. The name of Jesus. I touch those uh, area. Yes. His bladder, his kidneys. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever caused the buildup of those stones yes. in his kidneys, in his bladder, yes. wherever it is in that body, yes. in the name of Jesus in Christ. Of Jesus. We touch in the name of Jesus. Name of we Jesus. agree in the realm of the Spirit. In the name and we command those stones to go out of that body. Jesus' name. In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Go ahead. God bless you, Apostle and Prophets. We have Rona who is praying for the release of the documents for their inheritance. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for you. You said in Deuteronomy chapter 15 that this shall be the season and the year of release. So we speak now on Ramona behalf. In the Jesus. mighty name of Jesus, name of Jesus, that whatever documents are being withheld, yes. whatever enemy is holding on to it, yes. whoever is blocking it in the name of yes, Jesus, Lord. we come against those wicked family in members. The name of Jesus. We come against, I see in the realm of the spirit yes. that is a being blocked by another family member. Yes. I declare it will be released. In Jesus' name, release it now in the mighty name in of Jesus. Jesus release it, release it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, prophet, as we pray. And uh, Barbara is praying for debt cancellation, employment, employment, yes. financial breakthrough. And so let's pray for all of those people that are believing God for debt cancellation. Debt cancellation. And, and employment. Everyone that is believing God for debt cancellation. Employment and You're believing God for things to break breakthrough on your behalf. Yes. In the mighty name, the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Father, we Jesus. pray for debt cancellation. In the name you of Jesus. You said in the mighty name of Jesus that whatsoever we ask in your name, yes, Lord. it shall be done for in us. Jesus in name. the mighty name of Jesus name of Christ. Jesus. You said that this shall be the time of a divine release. So name. let this be the time of the release. In the name of every Jesus. evil spirit, every spirit of bondage, yes. even financial bondage. In the, name of in the Jesus. mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus you said, name. Need I call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Yes. Let your people that are calling upon you tonight, yes, let them be delivered. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, not only God said, Will you, some of you, be delivered, My God. but God said, I will show you the way of prosperity. Yes. I will show you the way to prosper. Yes. Yes. I will show you the way of increase. Yes. God said, because some of your blessings are right before you. Hallelujah. So I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, prophesy. Yes. And tell the people, praise God. God. Not only shall I cancel your debt, but I shall give unto you creative wisdom. Yes. Creative wisdom. Yes. Creative knowledge. Ooh. Praise God. And you will be able to tap into your abilities, yes. says the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Love on YouTube said she just walked through a brand new house. She's praying for a price drop and that she would be approved for her new home. What's her name? Love. Love in the name of Jesus. God loves you, love. Yes. Praise God. So, Hallelujah. amen, in the name of Jesus. Yes. He said, wherever the sole of your feet shall yes. tread upon, I will give it to you. I would not have been praying this prayer. Apostle and I would not be agreeing with you Hallelujah. if we had not seen this kind of miracle oh, yes. performed time and time again. Time and time so, we've and time seen again. people, praise God, that came to this altar, praise God, just like you, yes. believing God to take acquisition of a house yes. or acquisition of real estate. Yes. And it, it, they were believing God for a miracle beyond my miracles. God, God. Tonight we touch in a green aroma in the of the spirit of for you and everybody else yes. that's believing God for a house, yes. an apartment, a condo, yes. whatever you're believing God for, in the name of let Jesus. it be reduced and let you find favor yes. in Jesus. Jesus' name. It is done. It is done in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done in the name of Jesus. Sarah is on YouTube asking. She's praying to turn a new chapter in her life, a new beginning in Jesus' mighty name. God, let her chapters turn. Yes. Let it be a new day. That's the most we can say, a new beginning. Let it be a new beginning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Some people believe in God for a new beginning or turn around. Yes. You know, the Bible talks about the fact that, amen, God is the one that holds seasons in time. Yes. So let this be a new season for you. Yes. Let this be a new time for in you. The name of Let Jesus. the gates of favor yeah. open Hallelujah. according to the in word the of name God. Of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ's name. Marva is praying for favor for her and her son with the IRS. My God, Father, in the name of Jesus, Great you are the one, Lord God, you said if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, yes. we can say to the mountain, be yes. removed, yes. and it shall obey us. Hallelujah. So tonight, I agree with this woman, and she is Jesus. believing God for favor with the IRS, yes. with the federal government, with whatever agency. Yes, let, it be let it be done. Let it be done. That favor. In Become Jesus. a portion. There's not only that woman, but I yes. see there are many others. Yes. That is believing God for your, your favor, yes. for your paperwork to be approved. Yes. Praise God, not only with the IRS Come or the on. federal government, but I see immigration. I see your status changing. It is done. I prophesy it. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name. In the in it Jesus is done name. in Jesus' God name. God bless you, Apostle and Prophet Natasha. Yes. Is praying not only for debt cancellation, but stabilization My in God. her finances. Ooh. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. yes. Stabilization. Stabilization. Yes. Up it's and down, no yes. more. No. Yes. Let the finances be stabilized. Yes. Let it be stabilized. Sometimes there's a devouring spirit. Yes. And most of you will see this because when you start dreaming about rodents or dreaming about, amen, amen, a rat or a sorry, raccoon or things like that, squid, squirrels, yes. amen, that are eating things, amen, it is because it's a symbol that things are coming and eating away at your finances. And, Praise and God. Hallelujah. And I may say too, and I, I, I pray that this is not, you said Natasha, but yes. I pray that it's not, not her, but I'm telling you also that you have to. It, it begins now with your, with you when, with your giving to God. Yes. Your, your giving has to become stabilized. Yeah. See, oh. many of us, our giving is not stabilized. We oh, give boy. today, we don't give next week. We give, no, you got to stabilize your giving. See, you see, your giving has to has to get to the point where it's not just a happens happenstance. Mm. You know? Okay, I just happen to have some money in my pocket today, yeah. so I'm gonna give it. No, every week you you find a seed. To say, hey, if I'm working, I gotta be stabilized with my tithes, with yes, my offering. That's good. If, if, if I'm making, see, if you are making a set salary, your 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 tithe and your offering is not supposed to be up and down, up and down, up right, and down. Right. Because if you are making a set salary, that means that if it's a hundred dollars, you know at least, and I always say at least because your tithe could be more than ten dollars. But at least ten dollars is coming for your tithe, and then you say this is gonna be my offering. But when you're making that hundred and then some week you're giving five dollars at your tithe, some week you don't give tithe, it's not stable. You gotta stabilize your, your giving so that now 
your finances will begin to get stabilized. That's very good, Apostle. Hallelujah. That's very good. Amen. So I speak that stabilization in the name of Jesus to 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 her and to everybody else. Amen. That you will become, Amen, stabilized and you become resolute. Your faith has to be in God. Yes. Because when you look at your circumstances, it may be a distraction. Amen. So Father, stabilize everyone tonight. In the name of let Jesus. Let it be that their finances yes. become stabilized. Yes. So let their giving become stabilized. Yes. I also want to pray, Apostle. I know we have some of these prayer requests here. Yeah. And it's amazing because the first name I see at the top, this is the first prayer request at the top. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe I know so that I, I want to just declare in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That amen, that, that stabilization will come to her life. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Amen. And that whatever she's believing God to do on her behalf, yes. even concerning the job, even yes. concerning her review, yes. that amen, that it will be granted, favor will be granted to her. But I speak, amen, strength to a spiritual strength. In the name of Jesus. I speak strength and stabilization because to that's what I saw. Life. To a spiritual life. Yes. Because that's what I saw this morning as yes. I was live yes. in prayer. Yes. I called that out because yes. the Spirit of the Lord say, amen, that she will not separate. Hallelujah. She will not be separated from Come the on. kingdom. Come on. That she will not be separated from the things of God. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. But that she will be stabilized. Come on, brother. And strengthened with yes. might. Come on. On, come on. Are you people adding this is well, before this, this I even is see a good. prayer this request? Is good. No, this is right. This is right. So God is a spirit. So that's what we pray for her tonight. We yes. agree. Yes. Mama, wherever you are tonight, we yes. speak it in the name of Jesus. We speak stabilization of your life. Yes. We call for your promotion. Go ahead, Apostle. Yes, we have we have Rena, Rena, Rena Jones from New York, Queens, yes. New York. Hallelujah. Praying for job. We already pay. I, I'm, I'm praying for what pay? Pray for a good paying job. Uh -huh. Okay, so we, we already pay, prayed for people with job. Yes. So Rena, no denial. I hope you heard that prayer. Hallelujah. That, that we are praying that you will get that good paying job. In Hallelujah. the name of Jesus. And when you get your good paying job, don't forget God. Hallelujah. Don't forget Do not God. forget God. We also remember Hallelujah. Marsha, praise God, and Hallelujah. she's in North Carolina. Yes. Father, we come in agreement tonight, even as she's, praise God, yes. amen, that, that she will not be anxious, that the yes. spirit of anx anxiousness and anxiety Hallelujah. will be broken from off of her life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless, we bless Mimi tonight as she yes. released her seed on the altar. Yes. Hallelujah. And she's saying along with us, it is done. It is and done. And she receive it in the yes. name of Jesus. In Jesus' it name. It is done, Mimi. It is done Jabra for you. Korraba. In Santa. Jesus' mighty and holy name, Angela, hallelujah, from North Carolina. Yes. Hallelujah. Listen, uh, she asked, uh, sewer line from her home is blocked and uh -huh. doesn't have the funds to have it replaced. Hallelujah. Father, That's open, make open. the way that for that. Need to open. The line needs to open. That's a bad thing. <laughs> God needs to make That's the a way. bad thing to be blocked. Hey, Jesus. In the name Father, of Jesus. Father, we agree tonight with Lenora, praise yes, God, from yes, Atlanta, yes. Georgia. Praise God. And she's praying regarding, amen. She's been coming under spiritual attacks. Yes. And she's believing God for complete healing for a kidney. In the name and of Jesus. And an apostle, if I can just say this now that I see this prayer Hallelujah. request, yes. and somebody is right here in Atlanta, yeah. we want to remind everyone that this coming Friday night, this weekend, Woo! you can. We are actually in Atlanta right now. We are in Atlanta, praise God, Amen. They can put that on the top of the screen, Amen. Yes. And let people know we are broadcasting yes. we are tonight live, from live, Atlanta, live. Georgia. We are live in Georgia. Yes, praise God, Amen. Yes. So I'm just, I'm just saying to everyone that's watching us right now. Listen, you, you calling in the call center yeah. with a prayer request, and we are right here. We right here. So listen, you listen, need to listen, come. Listen. Join us Friday night, 7.30. Join yes. us. Hallelujah. The Legacy Center. Yes. The Legacy Center. Look it up. Hallelujah. They can the put, it put, the put, put it on the screen. Hallelujah. <laughs> the Legacy, Legacy Center, yeah. Friday Ooh. night, 7.30. Uh, listen, I flew in town to be here. Yes. <laughs> and I'm here for Friday night. I'm for, for, for training for rain and Saturday morning. Listen. Hallelujah. You better be there. Thank you you better be there. Come on. Come on, people of God. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, I, I, I read a scripture and I was reading the scripture and it says that God is not, God does not want, only want you to do enough. He wants you to do more than enough. Jesus. Oh. Amen. He wants you to go the extra mile of the way. Yes. Too many of you are just going, just doing enough. Wow. You, you, you so, you're so exact with God. Stop yes. just doing enough. Go the extra mile. Well, you know, I've been, I, I, I've been to, for the, to the last three events that you did, the first three events that you started here since you came back to Atlanta. I'm feeling a little tired. I'm feeling a little bit. No, come on, push. 
Go oh, the extra mile of the way. Come on. You don't know when your breakthrough, what, what, which one of these events is going to be your breakthrough come event. Come on, Apostle. So you can't afford to give up and, oh, i tired, or oh, I can take a break this week. You can't. You, you have no time to take a break. That's it. You need a miracle. Push. You need a breakthrough. You need things to change in your life and yes. in your situation. Push your way and be here on Friday night. Yes. Push your way. The Legacy and be here. Center is it is right there in right. uh in uh what what is the address again now? Right, thank you. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 15, R N uh -huh. Martin Street. Martin Street. In Atlanta, Georgia. East Point. East Point, Georgia. Uh -huh. 30344. 30344. It's on the screen. Praise okay. God. Maybe they could put it back up again. Yeah, it's yeah. East Point, Georgia. Quick. It's East, East Point, Point, Georgia. Georgia. Just put it there. See it. Praise God. Come and be you with us. Be to come. At the Legacy Center. Come on. And Apostle is saying, yeah. you going to go out for your, your, your peen. You're going to have double. Double, 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 you double, 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 Hey, this is your week. Yes. This is your day. So Friday Hallelujah. night, we start Friday at 7.30 p.m. Friday night. Come on. And then Saturday morning. Morning, training, for raining. training for raining. So you need to register for that. Amen. Yes, yes. And then Sunday morning is 10 a.m. Yes, People yes, do yes. not miss your visitation. Don't miss we your visitation. Are here. Come on, come on, come on down and, and, and Fort Lauderdale, Sunday morning. Sunday. Well, well y'all gonna be we're gonna be in the house Friday night also in Fort Lauderdale yeah, and we, Saturday morning. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then Sunday morning, uh, Sunday morning worship. And the same thing with Bahamas. Hallelujah. They're going to be in the house also. Yes. Hallelujah. We want to bless uh, uh, Lisa Alvarez. Uh, she sow a seed tonight. Hallelujah. Yes. Saying glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. God. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God's God. blessing tonight, Lisa. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ingrid, we want to bless Ingrid tonight. Hallelujah. And she sow a seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's believing God for supernatural blessings. God bless her tonight. In the name of in Jesus. The name of uh, Jesus. I pray for Hattie tonight in, Hattie. in North Carolina. Uh -huh. She's believing God. Amen. Uh -huh. uh, a grandbaby. Amen. Uh -huh. Praise God. Amen. They believe in God for a new kidney. Yes. Praise God. Amen. The grandbaby's mother and is you, believing God for a new kidney. If I can add on and, you, we have someone on YouTube. Michelle is praying for her grandbaby that is mm. seven years old and is not speaking, I think. So well, wanna... we just had a miracle with a, with a Eight-year-old little girl. Yeah, that was a serious miracle. <laughs> that the mothers yeah. and the parents say she never, never spoke. You would think that girl was speaking all her life. <laughs> she, spoke, she spoke so clearly so in that clearly. service. And, and, Hallelujah. And that's a, a powerful miracle right here during this. We're in what is called Fire Revival America. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, a tour. And, it's and, continuous. And it's continuous. That's it's what going Friday on. night is. Fire but Friday, we want Fire people Revival. to come. So let's agree with that little girl. Let's yes. just speak. And, and you know, Prophet, I think sometimes we, 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 need, we need to continue to highlight the miracles. Oh, my God. You know? We, we, we don't we, do it enough. No, we forget about it. We say it one or twi once or twice. We forget about it. These are powerful miracles. These are very powerful. Every time I see that young lady on the screen with the eye her yeah. eye was out, out, Keisha. out, out. Oh, and Todd to touched her, the tumor, and Cancer. the doctors were saying it was going to keep doing, and she was And they say she was going to be dead in five yes. days. Yes, and that thing, we prayed, and that began to receive and go back yeah. in, and now she's coming to the service, and Jesus. her eyes are it's back in, and she's operating. She's normal. She isn't Jesus. out of her mind or nothing right. like that. She has all of her senses. Yeah. Listen, man, these are some powerful miracles Ooh, that Jesus. God is doing, and that young girl, that eight-year-old girl, I mean, man, she talked. I, at first, I was wondering if they, I said, they, well, she, she wasn't speaking before because she spoke so clearly. They said she has never spoken. Never spoke. And we prayed you for her right for in that service. Yes. And, you know, I just said, you know, after the Holy Spirit said to me these same words. Yeah, it is done. It is done. It is done. So I say, well, if it's done, it's done. say Jesus. Yeah. And the little girl say Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the so mother look. The mother almost passed out. Yeah. The father almost passed out. Then, you know, so I say, the... say it again, because I want to make sure I heard but, but, Jesus correct. And then I say, say it again. Yeah. She said, Jesus. Providence, the service was over, and the little girl comes to hug me, and she said, she's talking, Apostle, I love you. Oh. The parents <laughs> verified yeah. that the little girl was eight years old, and she has never spoke. Oh spoken a word right people of god you could either you either receive it believe it or yeah, you could just decide right whatever we're right not even here to prove you were right there we didn't take her behind a building no, right in right the, in the, no, right in the service. service we prayed right there yes 
And you know those parents said they came from somewhere. Yeah. They was following the ministry. They may be even watching right now. My God. And as I begin to minister to the man, because I saw the hand of the Lord on that man. Yes. And, and I said, God, what is this? And he said, he has been blocked. Yeah. The spirits, the, 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 the ancestral spirit, they began to block this family. Yes. And because the enemy did not want them to serve God. My God. Some of their previous ancestors were into idol worship. Yes. And, and he said, and I saw the man, he, his father was okay, but the other people in the family felt as if this man should be a part of either Hinduism or Buddhism or whatever. And they was trying to put curses on them. Oh people of God, listen to me tonight. Mm -hmm. We are here and we're declaring to you, according to the word of God, we have seen, our eyes have seen. We have seen, we have seen the miracles Mighty of miracles. Jesus Christ. And it is no glory to us, you no, know. No. It is all glory to all, God. All. If you just have faith, you will not stay home. If you have faith, you will rise from where you are. Yes. You will jump in a car. Yes. You will jump on a bus, yes. a train, or a plane. You will say, let me go, let me go. where the Jesus listen. of miracles is happening. Father, listen to me. Let's pray for this before we forget. But, you know, I, I, Jesus, when he, when he was on earth, if he was having, if he was having a, a, a revival service in Atlanta, uh -huh. and he was in Fort Lauderdale, he would walk. From Fort Lauderdale all the way to Atlanta. Thank God it's Jesus. It's, I'm, no, I'm sure it's a people something. We have cars, we have trains, we have, okay, I don't have enough to, I don't have enough to afford a plane ticket, but you have a car. Yes. You have a train. Yes. That you can say, okay, let me, I can afford a plane, a train ticket. That's it. And so you stop making excuses. Yes. Hey Amen, stop making, I don't got a place to sleep. Hey, how many people sleep in their car? If they have to. Uh -huh. And how much time you should tell me you are sleeping in your car for other things. And you are doing oh other Lord things in your Jesus. car. <laughs> but I ain't going there tonight. We agree. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. But his children, these Father, grandchildren. Yes, yes. Lord, we agree that yes. it is done. It let is them done. speak. Let them speak. speak. Let them be healed. Zala in the name of Jesus. God, let them let them begin to develop normally. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we yes. thank you that it we is curse done. Autism. In the name of Jesus, we curse every spirit. In the name of Jesus, of of of, of speech and in and Jesus disability, name. autism, in dyslexia. In the name oh, of God, Jesus, we come against every form of mental retardation. In the mighty name of and Jesus, and we come against the spirit of anxiety even in, the in name children. Of Jesus. We command that spirit. Yes. That have stolen the minds yes. of those children. In the name of, of Jesus. Of the minds of those children. In Jesus. Name. To release their mind. In Jesus Give them name. back their mind. In Jesus' name. For it is glory done. of it God. Is it done. is done. It is done. In Jesus' name. Father, it is done for Sharon tonight. As yes. she is believing God, as she's so She's believing God for her breakthrough in her finances. Hey, it is done. Shatter, it is done. done in the mighty name of Je Jesus. Uh, Liz is believing God for Je breakthrough and for victory in the court. In the name of it Jesus. is done in the mighty Je name of Jesus. Jesus. Liz, hallelujah. It is done. We bless Francis tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kaylee is sowing in the fire revival in America. She's sowing a seed tonight. Yes, May God bless her. It is done in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. You believe in God for your family to be delivered from satanic attacks yes, yes. in the Bahamas in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Gemma, we Jesus. agree with you tonight. Amen. Yes. In Avon Park, in Florida. The name of Jesus. Praise God. We agree for protection. Amen. Yes. For you and your children. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In we come against Jesus. every spirit of abuse moving to your family. Jeanette, we in agree Jesus with you tonight. Name. In, in name. Alabama, in the name it of is Jesus, is for the deliverance of your soul, it is done. In the name of Jesus. Javonda, favor in the court. It is done for you, Javonda. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Yes. It is done in Jesus' name. Jerry, we believe you. it's done for Hallelujah. you in Colorado. Hallelujah. We Hallelujah. believe God for total healing in your body. Uh, yes. Faith, amen, in Guyana. We yes. are believing tonight, amen, that your friend Gavin, yes. praise God that they will be delivered, they will be set free. Yes. Joycelyn, we believe tonight with you in California. Yes, in it is name. done in the it mighty name of Jesus. Total healing. In Every Jesus one of name. you tonight all over the world. I know time yes. is going so yes. fast yes. from yes. us. Yes. Praise yes. God, amen. But this Hallelujah. is your moment. Hallelujah. This was your opportunity. Hallelujah. We stand in 
agreement with you in tonight. Jesus we name. have faith with you tonight. In Jesus According name. to the word of God, that whatsoever we name. ask yes. in Jesus Christ's name, it is done. It is done. Yes. Praise God. So just believe tonight as yes. we put our hands upon these uh, prayer requests, the ones yes. on this altar, on the YouTube. ones on YouTube, Facebook, Facebook, the ones in the call center. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Wherever you Wherever are believing God for a miracle tonight. Yes. Amen. Whether it's for your school fees, for yes. scholarship, for yes. your tuition. Yes. Praise God. Whatever it is you're believing God Hallelujah. for, yes. for a medical, amen, situation in to change. We declare it's done for your family to be it's restored, done. your marriage to be restored, for your name. children to be delivered in out of Jesus prison, name. out of addiction, out of Hallelujah. drugs. Hallelujah. Whatever it is tonight yes. Yes. that you are believing God for, yes. Yes. we lock faith in Jesus' name. And we declare, it is, it is done. It is done. It is done now. In Jesus', Jesus name. name. I don't know what's going on, but many people are believing God for favors in the court, so we believe yes. God that yes. it is done in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus it is name. done in Jesus' now, name. Financial breakthrough. Jabarata it is done in the name of Jesus. Financial Zubra miracles. Yeah, did, did, it is did, did, done did, 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 in Jesus' name. As you release your seed and as you release your prayer request tonight, it is, it is done, done in Jesus' mighty name. And holy in Jesus' name. name. There's somebody, Hallelujah. your name is like C-L-A-Y, Clay. Clay. Hallelujah. I don't know what that is to do with anything, mm -hmm. but the name is C-L-A-Y, and I see it bold in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise God. Your name is Clay. I don't know if there's somebody praying for Clay. God. Praise God. Or if you are listening by yourself, your name is Clay. C-L-A-Y. Javanda Rabasata. That's how I see it in the spirit. It's just big bold. C-L-A-Y, Clay. I don't know if it's for Clay Clay. Well, I don't want to put nothing to it. Amen. I just want to Amen. say it as Amen. the Spirit Amen. of God is showing it to me. Yes. Clay, yes. wherever yes. you are tonight, yes. may there be an intervention yes. on your behalf. Yes. Yes. May God hear your prayer, whatever you are believing for tonight. In the name of Praise Jesus. God, be delivered from it in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Let heaven open over your head. Let heaven Jesus. open over your life. Yes. Let the blessings of God come upon you right in now and deliver you out of all your in troubles. The name of Jesus. By the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Yes, in Lord. Jesus Christ, mighty name. It is name. done in Jesus' name. It is done. It is it done is in done. the mighty name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Listen, man, you know, we could go all night. Hallelujah. But, you, you know, we got to give you time to go. Some of you got to go to work. Some of you just coming home from work. Some of you still at work. Yeah. Hallelujah. But, you know, God is so good. Listen, I, I want to remind you one more time now. Don't yes. forget, morning prayers continue. 6 a.m. prayers continue. Yes. So stay tuned and, and be, get up in the morning and let's pray. If they want to be on it, they can just go right to our website. Go to the website um, and they BFF, will give it. BFM Global and click on the 6 a.m. Yes. prayer 6 link. Press, 6 a.m. And once you link. enter that, it, they will automatically send you the Zoom link. Yes. More of you need to come on this prayer because it's really touching lives. Yes. And, yes. and God yes. wants to do the same for you. Remember prayer, prayer. Prayer changes everything. Amen. So yes. we don't stop praying. Then Friday night, Fire Revival continue. Yes. Fire, the Legacy Center, the Legacy yes. Center. Listen, yes. all of you, man, come on, come on. Y'all, 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 two and three hour people, y'all ain't getting no, that ain't no long drive. <laughs> come on now, come on, you know? Mm -hmm. Two and hours, three hours, you could make that, you could yes. make that. We got people driving from Florida every week. From Texas. I mean, and that's like 10 hours. I mean, you know, eight if you're speeding fast, 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 but yeah. 10 hours if you stay within the speed limit. And they're coming every week. You got, you got the, we got some families coming from Texas. You know, I want to know what is the other people excuses. Yeah. They drive in, I think, more than 10 hours to get here. I think sometimes it's a matter of hunger. And, and they come in every hunger. week. Every week you look up and they're there. Yeah. They're in the service. Hunger. They're coming. Hunger Hallelujah. for God. What, what, I mean, hey, what, 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 what is your excuse? You yes. believe in God. You want God to do something great for you. Yes. But you're not willing to do something great for God. Oh, my God. Come on. What, what is your excuse? If you are part of the ministry, if you're part of the global membership, come on. Try find yourself a few dollars. Put Revival some gas, is Put here. some gas in your car and come. Yes. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. And once you name. get here, you know, well, this week we're going to be Friday and Saturday, so you don't have to go back there unless you have work. And I mm. pray you don't work on Saturday. Yes. So you could stay over for Saturday morning and be a part of what God is doing it's on powerful. Sunday morning. Amen? It's so, good. listen, make your way, make your way. Get your family together and say, let's go on a drive. <laughs> Did you even got to tell them, them say, I don't know, I'll go to church. Don't tell them you're going to church. Oh, I Lord. just feel like taking a little drive to Atlanta this weekend. Just tell them that. Put them in the car. Let's come and then they reach. 
Costco. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on down. Hallelujah. And, and then, and then we, oh, look here. Something's going on right at the Legacy Center. Let's check that out. See what that's what, what that is all about. Amen. Take a nice drive with your family. Hallelujah. And come on, come on, come on. I want to pray for some people this Hallelujah. weekend, Apostle. Amen. Yes, yes. And yes. they would have seen um, in Florida, mm -hmm. you prayed for almost the whole church Ooh, well, on last week, on last weekend. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if the people is do understand what you call for. I mean, this is play crazy. But then you call. You say. You say. I, I call. I say. Okay. Those of you who need prayers. The whole church came up. Yeah, look, the, Hundreds of people. On two sides. I said, what's going on? <laughs> well, don't feel too bad. Because, hey, man, in, in, in Georgia, I think I end up almost praying for the whole church on Sunday. I mean, I prayed. I was flipping I was, chairs. I, you, I was watch. I think that anointing rests on me because I watched when you came out on, on Sunday because, you know, I had a little monitor right there watching uh -huh. For when you come up, I look, I, I look up one second, you have the next second, the whole area was clear out. I said, what's going on in this time, this church? I it's almost stopped my message to, to, to watch you. The because power the whole of God. thing was tear right open. <laughs> it was the power of God, Apostle. And God knows that he can trust us. He knows Amen. he can trust you, he can Amen. trust me. Yes, so yes. I want to just say to people, come. Don't, Amen. don't when revival, when the spirit revival, yes. there is coming some things in this year that's going to test a lot of people. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. There's some things that are coming. The Bible already spoke about. We already seen drones flying over over Israel. Yes. We already seen things that the, the Lord said will happen in these end times. Yes. It's, happening. it's happening. So I want to tell people it's come happening. into the ark of safety. It's praying time. Come, it's praying time. It's praying time, prophet. Jabaratana. Listen, listen. You're trying to start another show. No, 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 no. This, this is this is a praying time. Things are happening. Yes. Like you say, the drones are coming in. And you know, Israel is the uh, United States is saying don't attack. Israel is saying we gonna we go, we will respond. Missing you already end. said we will respond. It's just a matter of how and when they will respond. And then you know something that God showed me that we gotta pray concerning this upcoming election. Yes. We got to pray concerning the upcoming election. This is a serious election. And you you know we 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 don't we don't we don't we are not a part of a party. We are not democratic mm -hmm. or, 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 or Republican. But we gotta pray because you know a lot of us that are. Believe in God, even even uh, uh, immigration matters because one of the one of the people that are running are trying to shut down immigration and close it out and send people back. Well, on either side, I'm saying but there are faults. There are faults. I'm just trying to say. Yeah. So we gotta have to pray and ask God. You know, you you can't sell your birthright right mm -hmm. in this election. You better pray and ask God if you're gonna vote. Where to vote? Because it's a serious election. Because, like I say, on either no side, one run. side, this side is saying they trying to pull. Like everything goes yeah. on, 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 on the one present, side? the present regime that's mm -hmm. in now. Everything they are opening up for everything. Mm -hmm. On the next side, they say they shutting down everything. So but it's at the same take time, prayer. so we need prayers, people. This is these are serious times we're living in. And yes. We have to. You cannot afford not to pray. So this coming Amen. weekend, Apostle, as you were saying, at the Legacy Center, people come. Revival yes. is here. We're preparing the church. We're preparing the bride. Yes. We're preparing the people for, amen. Look, Jesus said, occupy until I come. Yes. But it's when a storm comes, you know, it's going to be too late to be trying to find God, yes. to be trying to get your faith. It's now the time as we are preparing, amen, to get your faith strong in God. So just come. We and, believe and in God for your miracles. That's the bottom so people, line. You got people on, on, on YouTube that are saying, a new stream of monkey talk, pop is broken out in, in Africa. There's, there's flooding going on in Dubai. So it's a lot of things. If you want to talk about that monkeypox, then I want someone to go and dig up the prophecy. I just released it last year and I said there was something coming and it's something to do with monkey. Mm -hmm. and, and any one of our scribes that yeah, is awake I remember, I remember can go and look for that. it. Yeah. I gave this prophetic word last year, almost Alicia. a year ago, and I said it's break, it's going to break out and it's going to be something to do with monkey. Yep. And it's going to spread like little spores. Yep. And, and I said it's this a new stream. It's a new stream. And I said when this hit, I said it's going to be taking people out just like that. Just like that, just like that. And a lot of people's lives are going to be affected by this one. People of God, this is not a joke. I, 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 we out of time tonight. Did you find it, um, son? You found it? This is not a joke, but I can tell you right now, we'll probably do another broadcast to talk about this. We'll probably do another broadcast. Do you want to drop it in the description column of, of tonight? Uh, um, where's a social media rep? Maybe they could just drop it inside that column. October 25th. October 25th. 
Which year? 2023. 2023. And uh, well, it's there. So we're gonna put it out there for you. Drop it in the description. We put it. It's on YouTube. But I God gave. I saw it clear as day, and I said, "Watch this. It's coming, and it's coming fast." And I said, it's going to be monkey business. You want to hear? Uh, 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 uh. It's going to be monkey business. Yep. But it's going to be something to do with monkey pox. Amen. And I said, I know y'all going to say, well, we heard that before. No, but you better get ready. Because this one is coming. It's going to be worse yes. than anything you have ever seen before. Yep. And it's going to wipe. It's going to swoop. It's going to spread like spores. Yes. Jacata, huh? Yes, respiratory brother. problem, all yes. matter problem, not yes. just rest, skin problem, respiratory problem, and it's going to attack the lives of thousands and thousands and thousands of yes, people. Brother. So somebody is confirming that that is yep. happening. Yep, yep, they My say God. right, it's happening. In See, Africa a prophet, right this, this is what we're saying now, Apostle, yeah. that God said, I will do nothing in the earth yes. except I reveal my secrets to my, to my servants, the, the prophet. prophet. Yes. So, amen, you don't need to click out, people. You don't need to no. click out, go and no. look for it. No. We're going to drop it right in this description yes. for you. Hallelujah. And you'll be able to see it, praise God, in a few minutes. Don't click out of this. We're going to close and bless you. But I'm just, we just confirm, and Apostle is just saying, this is why we need to pray. This is why we need to prepare. This is why Revival America, yes. Fire Revival America, yes, and Fire Revival Nations is happening through us and other pastors right now praise god so apostle i'm i'm just you know you just wake me up again but anyhow <laughs> no but i i know this because that's what you started talking about yeah. you know with the things that are going on and yes. you have deborah who's confirming that she still have it in her inbox from when you said the first prophecy good, good. hallelujah but so, so and so these things and you know you know the, the song song when song used to sing i forget what the group name but it said signs of the times yeah are everywhere are everywhere yeah everywhere and so what you're saying is going it's not to put you in fear but it's, it's to awake to awake you and yes. alert you. It's, that's why we have to pray. Yes. You know, he said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness. In high places. In high places. And this, this is what's going on. These things that are going on in the world, these are men. These are these are countries and nations who are plotting and planning. They are together. They have their group. Amen. Uh, the Iran and the Russia and all of them that are that, that are plotting, hallelujah! And they don't think that these are just these are just happening. You know, these are hap these are planned things. Yes. They they release those those uh, 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 what they call those drones. Stuff? Drones. That was not just that was a plan. That that was discussed. That was discussed which, in that in the ally. Which is another prophecy fulfilled. Yes. Because when on and when that happened, uh, Israel was hit. Um, last year, six months ago, yeah. I told, I came live and the Spirit of the Lord said, tell the people that they are thinking that Hamas and Palestine is uh, standing on their own. No. That no, Iran and, and their Hezbollah, and Hezbollah is a terrorist movement yes. um, sector. And Russia is in with Iran. Uh -huh. And all of these people are allied. So I, I, we're not going to get too deep in this tonight, but I just want people to understand, your prophets, we are not just here to prophesy what color your bedroom set is. Okay, we, we're not just here to prophesy and say, oh, you're wearing a pink shoe. Yeah. Uh, our prophecies are beyond that. And you have to just understand, no, Apostle and I, we're not boastful. We're not proud. Of, well, we just speak it as God tell us and then we move on. And we have, but now everything is we, coming we to pass. We have to pray, prophetess, for the will of God. We have to pray that God will intervene, the peace of God, that these leaders, I mean, you know, some of them, they're not connected to God. No. But the ones that are connected to God, that they will hear the voice of God. Because a lot of things is being done is, is to provoke yeah. It's a provocative thing to try and to cause I war say, to break out. I say let's do another broadcast whenever the Lord releases. us. Praise God, Apostle. And we yeah. will continue talking about the end times. And we'll continue talking about signs of the end times. Yes. So that you as a Christian of God can wake up and realize why is God calling for revival? Why is he saying fire revival America? And why, why is, is he, he telling saying, you to pray? Why is he telling you to pray? Why is he telling you to put an altar in your house? Why is he telling you, praise God, 
to come to the altar even at 6 a.m. in the morning because he's preparing the church so that when the shaking begins yes. and it's already beginning, it's happening, that you will not be shaken. That's it. Am I talking to somebody tonight? Yes, that when the shaking gets vigorous, you wouldn't go in fear. That you would not move in fear and make the wrong decision. Yeah. So let's pray, Father, as we uh, we stand in the process. Oh, yes, let's pray everywhere where you are right now. Let's yes. release a blessing. Come on, lift yes, your voice, yes, everyone. Yes. Lift your voice. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Peace in Jerusalem. Peace in Jerusalem. Peace on earth. Peace on earth. Oh God, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come on earth and in us as it is in heaven. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. And bless this fire revival, America. Yes, yes. God, the mission, the mandate that you've given to Apostle and I. Yes. And other pastors and other apostles, maybe wherever they are tonight, we don't know them, Lord. We don't know them all, but you know them. Father, let there be a stirring in the hearts of leaders everywhere. That they will hear the voice, they will hear the clarion call. Yes, Lord. Of the Spirit of God saying, unite. Yes. Praise God. Amen. In the spiritual fight uh, to save the lost, to save those that are in a state of destitution. In the name of Father, Jesus. we praise you now. It is sealed in your blood. Yes. And as we come back together again in this altar, yes. Father, let the fire on this altar never go out. In Jesus but let name. it continue to blaze. We in give you Jesus glory. Name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless everyone who gave. He bless you. Yes. He bless you. It is done. Amen. It is done. It is done Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, we love you so much. Yes. On behalf of uh, myself and my wife. Yes. Shalom, 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 shalom. God bless you. And we're going to see you soon. We're going to see you soon. See you. Prayer in the morning. Prayer in the morning. Prayer in the morning. Friday night, Friday night, Saturday morning. Legacy Center. Yes. Meet us there. Meet us there. Meet and us Sunday there. morning in Sunday Florida. Sunday morning, Fort Lauderdale. And Sunday morning. Sunday morning, morning Legacy Center. Sunday morning, Bahamas, Sunday morning, Texas, Come Virginia, on. Virginia, Pakistan, hallelujah, hallelujah. Pakistan, Everywhere. Pakistan, <laughs> Pakistan, I was laughing, we had a testimony from yes. Pakistan, the gentleman said he was praying for a motorbike, hallelujah, and God blessed his him family. with his motorbike, and then I look, it's about five of them, I say, okay, how are we going to, how are all of us going to fit on this motorbike? <laughs> He had the two kids on the gas tank. <laughs> I said, oh my God, we got to pray for you that he and got his a car. Wife. His wife was trying to figure to get on the back. And I said, I pray that next woman was going on that too. <laughs> so we, I said, we got to pray for a little car now. That yes. motorbike is not already being a growth. Yes. Hallelujah, but God is good. Yes. Amen, and he's still blessing his people. God yes. bless you. Yes. We love you, and we'll see you real soon. Shalom. Shalom. God Shalom. bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Bye. 